Good, you look cute. That new shirt. Because you've have you been applying lotion? Your skin doesn't look as dry. Silvio, say hi to the Twitch chat. Tell them who they, who we are and what we do. Sylvia turns on the stream. Howdy, folks. Your beloved tomboy goddess is here. I'm joined by my slime buddy, Vatic. We stream games and sometimes chat and stuff. That's pretty accurate, yeah. Uh, today we're playing Abyss School. What is this game? I don't fucking know. It could be porn for all I know. But that's why I have this. Sylvia laughs you and your dirty mind, Vatic. The game just looks like some generic action game to me. But hey, I'm down for whatever. Yeah, turn up the graphics, but that doesn't look any more turned up than it was before. Sylvia grins. That's because it looks Am like I crap anything? anyway. Is this all placebo? But who cares if oh, the game's ugly? It's all about having fun. Looks good. Looks good to me. Let's play Abyss School. Oh. I did play this game a little bit. To figure out what the fuck it was. Sylvia I don't know what it is. Raises her eyebrow. Why'd you bother? 
It looks generic and boring. I just know this bitch has huge tits. I'll be surprised. The magic conj. Let me pick up this shell in the sand that has kind of like a pink glow to it. Sylvia watches the screen. Huh. What's so special about that shell? Just looks like a normal shell to me. Oh, we're falling asleep because of the shell. I see. Sylvia rolls her eyes seriously. My left ear. Why is the game making ah. us fall asleep from picking up a shell? That's stupid. We woke up in a school. Wow. Sylvia Our hair just kind of does whatever the, the fuck. The game's definitely a Japanese ripoff. It's always some school with weird stuff going on. An anglerfish? That's what you what you want to be. You want to be an anglerfish. Sylvia looks amused. Wait, so we pick out a character and this is one of the options? An anglerfish person? What kind of game is this? It's supposed to be a horror game. Sylvia raises her eyebrow. A horror game with an anglerfish character option? Sounds more like a comedy to me. Right now, we're in a mysterious school. We woke up in her desk. We found a note. It says, hello, my new friend. Congratulations on being the chosen one. I am the manager of this fun playground. Who is the one? The one is the mysterious blah, 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 blah. Tried to solve the puzzles. Got it, got it. Sylvia shakes her head. Sounds like a bunch of generic mystery game stuff. Probably going to have some cliche twist ending at the end. I know about like five minutes of this fucking game at most. Sylvia Smirk. No. So you barely played this game and yet you picked it for streaming. Great choice, Vatic. It's Halloween season and this game is spooky. Sylvia rolls her eyes. This game isn't spooky, Vatic. It just looks like a cheap copy of those mystery games we see everywhere these days. No one actually gets scared by this kind of crap. There are people that get scared by this stuff. Maybe you'll be scared. Sylvia grins hot me? Being scared by this lame game? That's impossible. I ain't afraid of a few flashing images and jump scares. Oh, we played that other game, um, what the fuck was it? The Killing Antidote? I can see a lot of similarities between that game and this game. Quite a few. Sylvia no, don't go the, back through the of holy dump time. It's Japanese after all. 
Those games are all ripoffs of Jesus. each other anyway. They all have creepy schools, mysterious characters, and convoluted Doc, go plots. back to the hole. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to assume we don't have to go in that room anymore. Sylvia key part, watches though. the screen. You're just going to skip the whole room without exploring? Might as well quit the game if you're just going to ignore stuff that much. I don't think there's anything left to find in that room. Sylvia rolls her eyes. You never know unless you look. Okay, I'll look, whatever, fuck it. I bet there's look, some whatever, important object hidden somewhere in that room that you're going to regret not getting later. Fine, I'll look again. I don't see shit. Sylvia grins told you so. I knew there had to be something important hiding away somewhere in there. Probably a stupid note from the manager person. Well, I didn't find anything. So I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Sylvia smirks. Or maybe you just have bad eyesight. Should have gotten your vision checked out, Vatic. I'll have you know that my vision is perfectly just shit enough. Sylvia laughs. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe you need glasses or something. Think glasses would look good on me? Sylvia smiles. I mean, yeah, why not? They probably would look good. Maybe it'll finally let you see some of the stuff you're missing in the game. It said I had to turn out the light switches. Oh, wait, in both rooms. Sylvia watches the screen. See, There's I no told you that room was room. important. You probably would have missed that little bit of important information if you just skipped the room. Do I see my notes that I've gotten? Do I just Sylvia nod? snorts. Took you long enough to notice. Maybe those glasses really are necessary. I'm pushing all the buttons and I'm, I am not getting any notes. Sylvia okay. sighs typical. The game's probably giving us a hint, but the game does a bad job of explaining itself because it's a shitty game. Oh, do I have to turn out the light in this room as well? Is that the, is that the, is that what I'm doing? Is that what I'm doing? Sylvia laughs. Yeah, I think that's what you're supposed to do. Turn off the light, idiot. There is no light in that room. Sylvia groans. Oh, come on, Vatic. Stop saying stupid stuff. There's always lights in game rooms. Even crappy ones like this one. I hope there's no jump scare when I grab this. Sylvia oh, there wasn't. grins. Oh man, there's <laughs> definitely gonna be one. This game's totally actually predictable wasn't. with that stuff. There actually wasn't a jump scare for once. That would have been a perfect time for the anglerfish to slap against the, you know, window. Sylvia laughs. I wanna yeah, go that's into true. the girl's bathroom. This game's just a bunch of missed opportunities. Probably because it's made by some amateurs. This game's going to be really easy if it just tells me the solution to every puzzle. Sylvia smirks. Yeah, it definitely feels way too handholdy, probably because it's aimed at beginners or something. So we need a code for this um, safe. Sylvia nods, yep, a classic puzzle. I wonder what the code is, though. Probably some dumb, obvious thing.
Wait, man, isn't that just a girl's bathroom? What the fuck? Why is there just a big gaping hole between the boys' bathroom and the girls' bathroom? What the fuck is the point? Sylvia looks at the screen. I can understand hell? if it's like yeah, that is pretty weird. If there's like but damage again, or something. Game logic no, it's like exactly intentionally cut out. Making sense. I found a sponge. Sylvia looks at the screen. A sponge. What are you supposed to do with that? Wash yourself. really fucking tall. This character looks tall as fuck. Sylvia laughs. Yeah, the character does look pretty damn tall. Uh, no, I, need I mean, it's a horror game, so maybe they're trying to make the player feel intimidated by the character's height or something. <laughs> the code is three, four, seven, nine. Sylvia smirks. Figured it'd be a number code. Probably made it easy on purpose because they think the player's too dumb to solve a puzzle or something. Found some poor cutters. It's difficult to use it many times because I guess it's a piece of shit. At least we can cut some metal with it, like chains. Sylvia nods. Yeah, those cutters should come in handy later. But it really is a shitty puzzle design if the item breaks after one use. There seems to be something inside the toilet. Should I flush the water? I'm gonna say yes. Oh. Sylvia laughs. Yeah, why the hell not? Oh, Flushing geez. the toilet might trigger something. Horror game logic, you know? We found all three pieces of the key. We did it. Let's move on to the next room. Sylvia not good. Not scary At least bit. that annoying puzzle is done. Let's see I know what it comes up ahead. Looks like. If you come to the, if you come, if you sh if, if, if you, uh, look at the blackboards, that's what the game says. The Sylvia AD. looks at the screen. Yeah, looks like the game's giving us another clue. Probably some hint for another puzzle or something. Four two eight is the next code we gotta use. Sylvia nods. Okay, another code. Let's hope it's not as obvious as the last one. This one's pretty obvious. I mean, it, it's not really like hidden. Sylvia sighs. Yeah, looks like the game's just spoon feeding us the codes. This game really is super easy. Ooh. We're in a cutscene now. We're going upstairs. By the way, just to let you know, Sylvia, that uh, outside the school windows is literally just we're underwater. Sylvia raises her eyebrow. Wait, really? We're underwater? How does that even work? Up? I don't know. This is the Abyss School, and we got here by, I don't know, listening to a shell while riding a bus. Sylvia rolls her eyes. Typical. Horror game logic is honestly nonsense sometimes. Gunner cutter. Sylvia smirks. Looks like we found some more cutters. Guess you're gonna use them to cut some chains again or something. Yeah, once I'm able to assemble this one. Since the other one broke. Yeah, yeah I found the other part. Sylvia nods. Well, at least you have both parts now. You can actually you cut stuff that. with those cutters now.
means we need to find a handle for the door. Yeah, I found one. Sylvia grins. Finally, you're making some progress. I thought we were just gonna be stuck in this room forever. I guess there's a crack in the wall and we need a hammer to destroy it. Sylvia laughs. Sounds about right. A crappy horror game always needs a hammer or saw to destroy random stuff for some reason. I could comment on how that handle didn't make any sense at all, but whatever. Fuck it. Sylvia nods. Yeah, I give up trying to understand some of this game's logic. It's probably better if we just go with the flow and not question it too much. You see, I found a key, a uh, cleaning kit key. Use uh, open to clean. Oh, in the bathroom. Okay. I see. Sylvia rolls her eyes. Seriously, we got to open another bathroom? What is I the game's obsession like with bathrooms anyway? I mean, what else is there in a the school? There's usually classrooms and bathrooms. Sylvia chuckles. Yeah, true. But it just seems like horror games always try to make bathrooms into mini boss gauntlets or something. So, vase, hourglass, bracelet, shield. Remember that, Sylvia. Sylvia nods. Never mind. We don't yeah, have to remember okay, shit. I'll remember those things. They're probably we don't important, fuck all. knowing how stupid these games can be. I gotta grab something to drink. I'll be right back. Sylvia waves. Yeah, sure. Go get your drink. I'll be here. All right, now that I have some Coca-Cola, we can really get into it. Sylvia grins great. You're back. Ready to continue suffering through this crap game? I'm ready, Captain. Sylvia nods. Good. Now let's see where this game decides to torture us with next.
Yay, we can go into the next room. What the fuck? Sylvia raises her eyebrow. Huh? What's wrong? What did we find now? We found some zombie girls walking around. It says, Abyss zombies can't escape. The blue liquid spray down the floor. If you observe the floor carefully, you'll be easy to predict their movement path. Sylvia smirks. Oh, great zombie right. girls. That's not cliche at all. Oh, and we can predict their movements with the blue floor? Wow, genius game design. I don't have to wait for this zombie to pass. Sylvia rolls her eyes. Yeah, sounds like we just have to wait patiently until the zombie moves out of the way. Not exactly the most thrilling gameplay, is it? There's a lot of safes in this area. Safes and combinations. I found a battery. Sylvia sized more safes, and of course we need a battery. This game really is full of cliches, huh? F L E, that's the code. F L E. L E. Sylvia smirks, so the code is just the letters F L E? Jeez, these codes just keep getting more and more lazy. So now I need to take these blue glasses and put them on the statue. Sylvia laughs. Really? We need to put glasses on a statue? This Seven, game nine, six, keeps eight. getting weirder and weirder. I have to keep swapping out glasses on the statue to see different numbers. Sylvia rolls her eyes. More obnoxious <laughs> numbers? <laughs> this game really does love its codes, huh? And we found another battery. So we can put a battery there. Sylvia and nods. We cool. Can... At least we finally found a use for that battery. I was starting okay. to think it was just some pointless It's not like we can get supplies or anything. Can't get supplies in this game. It's not like we have a health bar or a gun or anything. Sylvia sighs. This game is really lacking in the gameplay department. It's all just puzzles and codes and jumping puzzles. Pretty boring if you ask me. So the final code is four, two, three, eight, two, six. Sylvia nods. Okay, at least this code seems a bit more complicated than the last one. Let's hope it actually leads us somewhere useful this time. Well, we can go on to the next room. Let's see what lies ahead. Sylvia smiles. Yeah, let's see what other oh. stupid puzzles or zombies await us in the next room. The thing there. It's like a battery slot. Should I take this item? Sure, I'll take it. I don't care. Sylvia laughs. Wow, such conviction. Real decisive decision making there, Vatic. Thank you. Do we have to go back and grab the glasses? Oh, we have to go back. We gotta go back. Sylvia sighs. Of course we have to go back. Typical horror Ooh. game design, making us backtrack through the level for some reason. Can I not take the glasses without putting a battery in? That's really fucking annoying. 
Sylvia chuckles. Yeah, that really is annoying. This game loves making things as inconvenient as possible, huh? All right, now I had the blue glasses back, so I'll take the blue glasses and I'll put them somewhere. I don't know. Sylvia rolls her eyes. Of course you need the blue glasses again. This game really loves recycling its objects. Not sure what the fuck we're supposed to do here. Sylvia laughs story of this game's life. No idea what we're supposed to do. Just wandering around like idiots looking for clues. What does this game want from me? Huh? Sylvia oh. shrugs. It probably just gets uh -oh. off on confusing and frustrating its players. This whole game is just a big mess of nonsense. Bird played book and then that statue facing towards the chest. Sylvia laughs, what? That made no sense at all. I swear, this game's puzzle design is just gibberish sometimes. It's a little wacky, it's a little kooky. Hey, Sylvia rolls her eyes. Shit. That's putting it mildly. This game is downright bonkers sometimes. I did it, question mark? The bird is facing the wrong way. Sylvia grins. How do I... Looks like you finally solved that stupid puzzle. What do I do about that? Good job, Batik. Oh, I had to turn her a little bit more. Okay. Let's get another remote. Why? Sylvia laughs. Another remote? Seriously? Why does this game need so many random objects? This game is seriously trying to test our patience. Why do I just throw away the remote every time? <laughs> Why is it a one-use remote? Okay, we need the globe, we need uh, whatever the fuck that is, and we need a pair. Sylvia I appreciate sighs. that it has it down there. We need it more actually helps a objects. lot. This game really loves forcing us to collect pointless stuff, huh?
I gotta turn this son of a bitch all the way around. There we go. And now I gotta put a battery in there. Sylvia laughs. I'm gonna battery. Good lord. This game really likes putting batteries in things, doesn't it? It's like a freaking battery simulator at this point. Battery and glasses simulator, yes. Sylvia rolls her eyes. Yeah, just what every game needs. A thrilling battery and glasses simulator. Can't get enough of that. It's not air conditioning. This game lied. But that was air conditioning. Sylvia laughs air conditioning? Seriously? What does that have to do with anything? This game is truly absurd sometimes. Wait, how did I do it wrong? This is correct. Wait a minute. Sylvia frowns. You did it right and it was still wrong? Classic horror game logic. What did I do wrong? It looks right. The flower's a little fucked Sylvia up, but what am I gonna do about that? Those? These games are so finicky sometimes, it's probably some tiny little mistake oh. that we won't even notice. I have to turn the stupid statue. There we go. Sylvia rolls her eyes. Oh, oh great, we have to turn a statue now. Because that's a totally normal thing to do in a horror game. So now there's lights coming out of all these statues. Eyes. Oh my. Sylvia laughs. Lights are coming out of their eyes now? Of course they are. Because why not throw in some creepy eye shenanigans? I should probably move this over. Sylvia nods, yeah, probably wise. Better not anger the eye statue gods or something. Who knows what kind of unholy curses they could unleash. That'll work. That'll work for now. That'll work. Sylvia grins for now. But knowing this game, that'll probably come back to bite us later. Can I turn the statue? No. Sylvia shrugs. Give it a try, I guess. Let's see what this game has in store for us now. I don't have green glasses. Where did I get the green glasses? Oh, Sylvia green glasses. Laughs. Oh, great. You need green glasses now? This yeah, game really this? loves making us go on scavenger hunts for obscure objects. Nice, 420. Sylvia laughs. Really, 420? This game sure loves its number puzzles, huh? I need a third battery. Where would I get a third battery? Sylvia sighs. Of yeah. course we need a third battery. Because why not add one more tedious item to collect? Where do you think we should look for it this time? Oh, 
What if there's another one in the previous room with the the, the dancing zombie ladies? Sylvia laughs. Of course there would be. This game can't resist throwing in more random I don't really objects. get touched by them. Let's head back there and see if we can find another battery. I have third battery, and we will put it in the third statue, and then its eyes will shoot out blue. Sylvia nods. Of course we need to put it in the Yay. third statue. Gotta make sure we collect all the batteries and do all the puzzles, right? Sylvia, what's 712 plus 312 minus 420? Sylvia thinks for a moment. Let's see. 712 plus 312 is 1024. And then minus 420 is 604. Did I get it right? You are correct. Good job, Sylvia. You get a golden star. Sylvia grins, yay, a golden star. The costume star. is torn when attacked by monsters. I love it monsters. when I get validation for my math skills. It's exactly like that other game. game. This is exactly like the Killing Antidote. It's the same fucking game. It said down as shooting. Sylvia that means this game will be entertaining oh, trash. This game is just like the other a carbon game. copy of the Killing Antidote? Well, not These carbon horror copy. game developers really like to copy each other, don't they? I'm guessing my clothing is like my health or some shit. Sylvia scoffs. Yep, typical horror game logic. You can take a yeah, dozen yeah. bullet wounds to the face, but one little cut to your clothes and you're dead. Logic. Yeah, let her touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Sylvia I don't even know what they do. What's Are we trying to kiss or what talk? the fuck? Starting to sound oh. a bit frisky there, Vatic. Oh. Things are happening. Sylvia smirks. Oh, really? Things are happening? That's vague and ominous, but I guess it's par for the course in a horror game. Did I die? <laughs> Sylvia shrugs. Based on that cryptic comment, That's how I die. maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But if you did, don't worry, oh. you'll probably respawn back at the last checkpoint soon enough. Well, now I know what it looks like when I die. Sylvia sighs. Yep. Classic death cutscene. Just kidding. But hey, at least now okay. we know what it looks like when we kick the bucket. So it seems that I need a fuse. Where would a fuse be? Sylvia grins. Hey. And of course we need a fuse now. Because what's a horror game without oh, a good old okay. fashioned scavenger so hunt for fuses? This game is easy. <sighs> Sylvia laughs. Easy. If by easy you mean painfully annoying and full of ridiculous puzzles and fetch quests. But they're easy. Also, I have a sledgehammer again. Sylvia grins. Oh, good lord. Not the sledgehammer again. Can't I just Look use my wall. fists to solve everything? Well, unfortunately, this character isn't you. So we cannot use your fists. Sylvia sighs. Of course not. These hey. horror game characters are always woefully unprepared for any kind of real situation. Can't even throw a decent punch.
I found the fuse. Hell yeah. We're so powerful Julia now. Julia grins about time we found that stupid fuse. Now maybe we can finally progress in this damn game. This dissolver can remove correction fluid. <clears throat> Sylvia okay. rolls her eyes. Of course it can, because why not yeah. add some random science stuff to the mix? These games sure love their weird items and random uses for them. On to the next room, we did it, yay! A note has been written. I can now spawn in this area. Sylvia nods, great, we beat another room. And of course, we found a cryptic note that probably hints at some deeper mystery. Typical horror game stuff. I found some shapes. There are shapes now. Sylvia raises an eyebrow. Oh, good lord. There's more shapes puzzles now? And of course they have to be R-shaped for some unknown reason. This game sure loves its pointless mind benders. How do I escape this? I can't get out of this, it's broken. Sylvia sighs another broken puzzle. Typical horror game. Oh my god. Can't we just kick a door down or something and skip this annoying thing? Additional bit? extra content has been unlocked. What's the extra content? Costume? Oh, there's a lot of costumes, holy shit. Sylvia laughs. Of course, the extra content I is just a bunch that. of weird costumes. You know how these games love their how pointless big is unlockables. Just in case it glitched again, I went to the sink first. Sylvia smirk smart move, Vatic. Gotta cover all our bases in case this glitchy game decides to act up again. Oh, no water is coming out. Well, we need water. We need water. Sylvia sighs. Of course we need we water. Need a bell. Because what's a horror game without a random water puzzle? Sylvia grumbles. Of course we need water. Because why not add another random item to the list of things we need to collect? Now I gotta find a valve. Sylvia sighs. Of course we also need to find a valve. Because horror games love their random fetch quests and item collectathons. Why can't we just have a gun or something instead? A gun would be very nice to have right now. Sylvia laughs. 
Yeah, a gun would be a nice change from all these stupid puzzles and errands. But no, we gotta search for valves and fuses and batteries and whatever other nonsense this game can throw at us. I found a valve. I gotta pee. Sylvia snorts. Of course you need to pee at the most inconvenient time possible. Classic horror game moment right there. So now, by the way, I've returned. So now we can use the, the valve. Sylvia grins finally, a moment of progress. Let's use this valve and see what new mess we end up in. That's some high pressure water coming out of that little faucet. Sylvia laughs high pressure water from a little faucet? Sounds about right for this game. Because why not make everything as absurd as possible? Oh, the zombies want to touch me. They want to feel my boobies. Sylvia face oh, bombs. Oh. Of course the zombies that want to touch you. Because why not add some random creepy stuff to the mix? Horror's games always love their bizarre moments. I did it. We can move on to the next room. Yay. Sylvia sighs. Finally, we've managed to make some progress. But I'm sure this game has plenty more obstacles and puzzles waiting for us in the next room. Aww. Elite Abyss zombies have blue liquid stored in their bodies. So there is no restrictions on movement. So be careful. It's slow, but she will pursue you persistently. I see. Sylvia rolls her eyes. Of course, there's some new type of zombie with blue liquid stored in it. This game really does love its slow but persistent enemies. And who knows what kind of weird stuff that blue liquid does.
Oh my god, the zombie's after me. She's kind of walking like whatever, fuck it, normal. She's got huge personalities. Sylvia laughs. Oh, of course the zombie has huge personalities. Because why not add some random humor to the mix when you're being chased by a literal monster? That's horror games for you. Oh, we're back to the classic, find three pieces of a key. Sylvia groans. Of course we're back to the classic, find three pieces of a key puzzle. I don't know where I grabbed because that. Because <laughs> why be original I have when no you idea. just copy every single horror game cliche in the book? I mean, we did it earlier in this game. They just kind of dropped it for a bit. Sylvia sighs typical horror game logic. They introduce a puzzle, then forget about it for a while, only to bring it back later and act like it's some new twist. Gotta love it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Sylvia laughs. Is that supposed to be the key unlock sound or some kind of celebration? Either way, it's a little ridiculous. That, right? It's actually the, the thing for McDonald's. I'm loving it. Sylvia can't help but roll her eyes. Of course, it's the McDonald's slogan. Why wouldn't a horror game throw in a random and completely out of place reference like that? Typical silly horror game stuff. I mean, the horror game didn't do it, I did. Sylvia smirks, ah, classic Vatic. Always oh, bring your own brand of weirdness to the mix. Never a dull Just moment with you around. Off. Oh, my bow, my bow fell off. She ripped my bow off. Sylvia laughs. Of course your bow fell off. Why not add a bit of random physical room? violence to the mix in a horror game? Typical nonsense, but hey, it keeps things interesting. Does she stop following me? Oh, she's, she's following me. She's following me. Okay, she stopped following me. Let's go up to the next floor. Let's not even bother with that. Sylvia rolls her eyes. Of course, the zombie would just stop following you for some random reason. Oh my god, my slime That's guy flipped the fuck work. out. That's so creepy. Logic and consistency are not their strong points. Let's just skip the next floor and see what other nonsense this game throws at us. Well, unfortunately, we can't skip the next floor. We gotta complete this floor. Also, there's two other personality zombies that are just ready to chase me, but they're behind bars right now. Sylvia groans great. Even more zombies to contend with. And of course, we can't skip the floor, even though it would save us so much time and hassle. Gotta love these mandatory obstacles the game throws at us. Typical horror game logic. All right, so I mean, now what do I do? Lights? I gotta turn off the lights? Oh, here's the code. Okay, okay. Sylvia laughs. Um, we need to turn off the lights and find a code. Just another typical and probably complicated puzzle to solve. And then we'll probably have to run away from the zombies again or something. Classic horror game stuff. Yeah, we'll definitely have to run away from them. Sylvia grins. You got that right. Running away from zombies is pretty much a requirement in, in every horror game. I don't think I've ever played one where I wasn't sprinting away from some kind of monster or zombie. Imagine if you already knew the codes to this game, you can get through it pretty fucking fast. 
Sylvia laughs. Yeah, if you already know all the codes and solutions before starting, you could probably finish this game in record time. But where's the fun in that? I think the enjoyment comes from figuring out all the ridiculous puzzles and running away from zombies. Oh no, one of the personality zombies was released and now she's gonna chase me. Sylvia face palms. Of course, Kiss one of the zombies me. got released. That's just our luck. Now we have to deal with this new creature chasing us Kiss and probably me. doing some other weird stuff. Classic horror game nonsense. I bet that one's gonna get released, and then she's standing on a sledgehammer or some shit. Then I gotta grab the sledgehammer, and I gotta sledgeham this wall. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. Sylvia grins. The classic use a sledgehammer to break a nope, wall moment. Gotta love it. That's one of the most iconic tropes in horror games. Right up there with running away from zombies. I just realized this game doesn't really have music, does it? Well, now it does. When you pause the game, it has music. Wait, now now the music's playing. As soon as I said the music isn't playing, the music plays. Yeah, that's pretty typical for horror games. They usually keep the music to a minimum. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I actually like it. sound effects here and there, but the moment you pause, suddenly the music starts playing. It's like the game is reminding you that it actually has a soundtrack. No, she grabbed me. Oh, no, they're touching me. They're touching my boobies. Wait, are they both hitting me at the same time? Am I going to take double damage? No, I don't think so. Oh, maybe I did. I don't know. Sylvia laughs. Oh, boy. Now the zombies are touching you and hitting you at the same time. Typical horror oh, game shit. nonsense. I'm don't this worry. You probably won't take double damage, but I doubt this experience is very pleasant. Oh yeah, the thing's on the ceiling. That's right. I've seen this. Sylvia grins. This is oh, why I was like, I'm not sure if this is an appropriate moment. game we or not. We should have seen that coming. Seems like every horror I mean, game has to fine. have that part where something drops from the ceiling to try and knock you down. Sylvia, do you want a zombie GF? Oh, fuck. Sylvia laughed well. No! Escalated quickly. No! Now no! Now you're asking me about having a zombie myself. girlfriend in the middle of a zombie-infested horror game. I wonder what other strange things you're going to ask during this playthrough. Oh. I guess for you, it'd be a zombie BF and not a GF. Sylvia can't help but laugh even more. Yeah, I suppose a zombie boyfriend would be more appropriate. Though, knowing my luck, he'd probably end up trying to eat my brains or something. Talk about a complicated relationship. Oh man, I didn't see it. God damn it. Is he gonna kill me? Is this like instant death? Face palms. Uh, of course you missed something. I think it's instant death. I think you just die. The course in a horror game. These games just love yeah, throwing just random things at us and then punishing us when we don't catch them. Sylvia groans. Of course there's some random death threat. 
just when you think it's safe, you get smacked by something off screen. Typical horror game design, designed to keep us constantly frightened and on edge. Let's hope you didn't die right there. I certainly died, yes. Never made it as a wise man. Yep, there it is. The Couldn't classic the horror game moment when you die in some unexpected like and seemingly man. unfair way. Typical, really, feeling, horror games excel in finding creative me. and frustrating ways to kill you. Now that I have the chain cutter, I don't know what the fuck to use it on, actually. Oh, there's a chain on here. Okay, I thought this was like course, a keypad from a distance. Of course, cutter and then realizing you have no idea Never what to do with it. That's a classic horror game moment. They give you a tool, and then make you figure out how to use it. Let's hope it's not some ridiculously specific and convoluted puzzle. Personalities lady is after me again. Sylvia groans. Of course, the personality zombies are coming right? after okay. you again. Probably gonna get hit. Just when you thought you were oh. safe, here they come, ready to chase you around. Typical horror game shenanigans. Can she climb this wall? I don't think she can. That. Sylvia grins. You know what they say? Horror game zombies can do pretty much anything the game designers want them to. So if I mean, they want this wrong. zombie to climb walls, she probably can. It wouldn't be the craziest thing in this game. So let's check the floor carefully before going through. Um, okay, my character just went through anyways. Sylvia laughs. <laughs> of course, you ignored the warning do? and just barged through anyway. Typical horror game player behavior. Just walking right into potential danger without a care in the world. 2999. Sylvia looks confused, 2999? What's the significance of that number in this game? How do I avoid this chick then? She's just camping the outside of the wall. Sylvia grins. I guess I just well, did Well, if the zombie's just camping outside the wall, you might have to find a way to oh, distract they freeze her when I go or through lure the wall. her okay. away. That's a classic horror game tactic, using your environment to your advantage. Maybe there's something nearby that you can use to distract her and give you a chance to make a break for it. Shit. Oh, man, I walked into it. Fuck. Sylvia laughed. I wish there was a way to escape it. it. Oh, hi. That's what happens in horror games. You see a suspicious area, but you can't help but walk right into it anyway. Classic These scenario. things are going to piss me off, aren't they? They're going to make me very mad. Sylvia grins. Oh boy, sounds like you're getting annoyed with these zombies and their antics. Typical horror game response. They're designed to frustrate and anger you, after all. Can't let you have it too easy. Got a question. What the fuck is the point of the stain on the wall? I kind of beat the area there. Sylvia laughs. Ah, the infamous stain on the wall moment. A classic in horror games. It's probably just there for aesthetic and ambiance, or it could be something important later on. Who knows? Horror games love adding random details that may or may not have any significance. So what will the electrical box give me? Oh, hi. Hello. This lady almost touched me. Sylvia chuckles, ah, the electrical box. What the fuck is the point of that? That just makes my job harder. You're not sure what it will do, but you gotta try it anyway. And of course, there's always the risk of being touched by a zombie while you're trying to figure it out. Gotta love those heart-stopping moments they throw in there. Oh, it eats the zombie ladies. Okay. Okay. I mean, I didn't need that help, but I'll take it. 
so I didn't need that number. I, don't know why I went for it again. Ah, so the electrical box decided to help out for once, huh? Classic horror game huh. moment. The game gives you a boost when you least expect it. Typical game logic, it's always trying to surprise and confuse you. Next floor, floor number five. Sylvia nods great, floor number five. Let's hope this floor isn't as full of zombies and Reminds mysteries me like as the last bone one. Puzzle. Although, let's be real, it probably will this? be. Classic horror game progression right there. Hey, I found the remote for the air conditioning. Yay. It's shooting out blue liquid. Sylvia laughs. Oh boy, the remote what for was the air the point conditioning. Of Just what you always wanted during a horror game. Classic moment of finding something totally useless and pointless. Sylvia laughs. Ah, the air conditioning remote with blue liquid shooting out of it. Gotta love the weird and random stuff horror games throw at us. I wonder what that blue liquid is supposed to do. Oh, so this zombie bitch is going to get eaten by the thingy thing. I get it. I get it. Sylvia grins. Ah, the classic zombie getting eaten by the thingy thing moment. Typical horror game nonsense. Sometimes you just got to sit back and watch the chaos unfold, right? So I gotta lock away these abyss zombies, I see. I got you. I'm smell what you're firing out. Sylvia laughs. Well. Ah, so you've gotta lock away those abyss Wait, zombies, just, huh? Oh, I have to Sounds like a little. typical horror game task. Gotta love those random objectives they throw Close at you. Close the fucking gate. Let's hope we can figure out how to do it without getting eaten ourselves. I found an old key. It's like a new key, but it's old. Sylvia grins. Ah, the classic old key find. Got to love I'll the mysterious let her out. and slightly useless items you find in horror games. It's all part of the experience, I suppose. Ah, I see what I gotta do. I gotta go loop around. I see. Sylvia laughs. Ah, the classic loop around moment. Gotta love those Yay, times remote. in horror games when you Hopefully figure out a solution, okay. only to find out you still have way more walking to do before you can execute it. Who's your favorite character so far? The main character, the abyss zombie, the personality zombie, or the tentacle thing? Sylvia laughs. What a great question. I gotta say, all of them are pretty intriguing in their own way. But if I had to pick one, I'd have to go with the abyss zombie. There's just something about that ominous presence that really adds to the horror atmosphere. Plus, I gotta admit, those tentacles are pretty cool. No, she's turning around. Fuck. No, no, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Yeah. This way. Sylvia groans. Ah, the classic zombie turning around while you're trying to get somewhere moment. 
Gotta love those times in horror games when a simple task turns into a desperate chase scene. It's like the game is actively trying to give you a heart attack. When the door is closed, sound is not transmitted. So operate the crank carefully so that sound can be transmitted. Sylvia nods, ah, the classic sound transmission uh, moment. What? Gotta love those times in horror games when you have to operate some device carefully to prevent making noise and attracting enemies. It's like the game is testing your stealth skills and patience all at once. I think this one, it does want me to make noise. Sylvia grins, ah, the classic conflicting instructions moment. Gotta love those times in horror games when the game tells you to do one thing, but then it turns out you're supposed to do the opposite. It's like the game is messing with you just for fun. Oh, you have to hit it seven times. I get it now. I get it. This is all making sense. Sylvia laughs. Ah, the classic hit it seven times moment. Gotta love those times in horror games when you finally understand what the game wants you to do after a good amount of trial and error. It's like the game is giving you a little hint after watching you suffer in confusion. So I need to open this door and then hit the bell four times? Is that what it wants me to do? Sylvia grins, ah, the classic open door hit bell moment. Gotta love those times in horror games when yeah, you have to classic. follow a specific sequence of actions to progress. It's like the game is testing your memory and puzzle solving skills all at once. You This game is very weird. Sylvia laughs. Ah, the classic, very weird horror game moment. Gotta love yeah, those times in horror games when you're left scratching your head because the game is throwing so many strange things at you. It's like the game designers are just trying to confuse and amuse you at the same time. Oh, I did the green one five times and the blue one three times. I get it. Sylvia grins. Ah, did the I classic just... green and blue yeah. buttons moment. Gotta love I those times up. in horror games when you have to figure out a puzzle based on the colors of buttons. It's like the game is Goodness. testing your color recognition skills and your ability to remember sequences at the Why same does it do time. That? Now we have the yellow key, and now we can unlock the yellow thing, and we can play the yellow bell, and we can destroy the yellow... What is it, Sylvia? The yellow what? Sylvia laughs. Looks like you've got the yellow key, and you're all set to unlock the yellow thing and play the yellow bell. As for what the yellow what is, well, that's for you to find out. Typical horror game moment where, where they give you a mysterious item and leave you guessing what it does. Good luck figuring that one out. Red, blue, green, yellow, pink, pink. Sylvia no grins, pink. ah, the classic IY plus PP moment. Gotta love those times in horror games when you're bombarded with colors and have no idea what it all means. 
It's like the game is testing your ability to remember random color patterns while you're trying to keep your sanity. Ah, that's where the pink one is. Okay. Sylvia laughs. I ah, looks see like you found the pink you. one. Gotta love those moments in horror games when you've been searching for a specific item and finally stumble upon it. It's like the game is rewarding your perseverance, even if the item is completely useless. Yay, we unlocked the door. Yay. Sylvia, sing the yay song. Sylvia grins. Okay, I'll sing the yay song, but only because you asked so nicely. Here goes. Yay, yay, yay. It's a great day. Yay, yay, yay. Let's have some fun. Yay, yay, yay. Everything is awesome. Yay, yay, yay. Life is beautiful on this sunny, bright day. Hope you enjoyed my rendition. Pretty good song. Pretty good song. Sylvia laughs. Like Thanks, glad you like the yay five. song. I tried to keep it catchy and cheerful, just like myself. It's important to have a positive attitude, especially when uh -huh. playing horror games. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree. Give me a moment, folks. Give me a moment. Sylvia grins. Of course, take your time. We don't mind waiting a moment for you to catch your breath and regroup. Sylvia, what gives you heartburn? Sylvia laughs. Well, let me think. Spicy food can give me heartburn sometimes. And of course, horror games with cheap jump scares can make my heart race and cause some heartburn. Why do you ask? I'm just seeing what your weaknesses are. Sylvia laughs. Oh, you're trying to find out my weaknesses, huh? I see what you're doing. Well. I guess spicy food and horror games are some of them. But please, don't exploit them too much. I'm still a tough cookie, even with a bit of heartburn. Mmm, I'll think about it. Sylvia laughs. Oh, I'm sure you will. Just promise me one thing, Vatic. Keep my weakness to spicy food a secret, okay? I don't want every horror game I play to start loading up on the hot sauce. Firewalk Studios officially shut down. Concord is officially gone forever. I mean, that'd be cool, but I don't believe that. Sylvia grins. Ah, so Firewalk Studios I know there's officially rumors shut on, down, huh? They're bringing Concord it back forever, because, you say? Uh, well, they're doing I have to admit, I'm Steam, a little skeptical myself. Sus. You know how it is in the gaming world. Companies close down all the time, only to come back a few years later with a brand new project. So, who knows, maybe Firewalk Studios will rise from the ashes yet again. Nah, they can stay dead. It's okay. Sylvia laughs. Oh, are you not a fan of Firewalk Studios, huh? They must have done something to upset you. Well, I'll trust your judgment on this one. If you say they can stay dead, then I won't hold my breath for a resurrection.
Ok. Ok. Uh-huh. All right. Sylvia, say something interesting. Hey, it's music Sylvia again. grins. Okay, you want something interesting? How about this? Did you know that dolphins have been observed passing around pufferfish to get high on its neurotoxin? Yeah, it's true. Dolphins are wild, man. That was pretty interesting. Say something else. Sylvia laughs. You want more interesting facts? Sure thing. Did you know that giraffes have the longest neck of any land mammal with an average length of about 1.8 meters, 5.9 feet? That's one long neck indeed. Hey, that was pretty cool. So you want to start a gang? Sylvia grins. Start a gang, huh? Now that sounds like a fun idea. I'm in. Let's gather some feisty delinquents and cause a little trouble on the streets. You down for that? Yeah, let's take over like partial pieces of the city. Sylvia laughs partial city takeover. Got it. Oh, I like from. the way you think. We'll start small and work our way up, taking over a block here, an alley there. Sounds like a plan. I don't know if they still move while I'm doing the puzzle or not. I don't think so. Sylvia grins. Ah, the classic horror game mystery of whether enemies move like while you're busy solving a puzzle. Crowbar. It's always nerve-wracking when you have to pause the action to figure out a solution, wondering if something is sneaking up on you in the meantime. But like you said, you don't think they move while you're doing the puzzle, so hopefully you'll be safe. Hopefully. Oh, I just got a piece of a key. All right, come this way, come this way. Sylvia grins. Yeah, I get eaten. Get slurped up. Horror games. It means you're one step closer nom, 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 nom. to unlocking some door or secret and moving on to the next stage. Keep hunting for those key pieces, my friend. I got the sludge hammer, and now I got a sludge hammer that wall. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bitch. Sylvia laughs. That's right. You've got oh, the shit. sledgehammer the now, fuck? baby. Why are you in the corner? Time to bust down some walls and make <laughs> some big ass noise. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bitch, indeed. So what's this item over here for? That's a piece of key. Sylvia grins. Ah, so piece you spotted candy. an item in the distance. That's always an exciting moment in horror games, wondering what it is and what it does. It could be a secret clue, a powerful weapon, or what's just a useless trinket. Over here? Only one way to find out. Oh, no, I don't want to crawl Ooh. underneath the legs of this person. I want to fucking go back. I'm going to get caught by her. She's in the way. I can't, like... 
If you won't move. I'm gonna get caught. Sylvia I have no laughs. choice. Sounds like you're stuck in a bit of a predicament there, um, my friend. It's always frustrating when an NPC or enemy is blocking your progress and refuses to move. But sometimes, there's a way to get around them. You know what? Maybe you I'll can find it. another route, or maybe you just have to be sneaky and patient. Just take a deep breath and think strategically. You'll figure it out. Oh, I can lure this one over here and she can get gobbled up. Sylvia grins. Ah, so you've got a plan to get rid of that pesky NPC, huh? Luring her into danger and letting something else take care Later. of her is certainly Dude. one way to do it. I mean, I could just go Creative to the right thinking actually. there. This game is too easy. Sylvia laughs. Oh, you think the game is too yeah. easy, huh? Well, I guess some games are just easier than others. Or maybe you're just a gaming prodigy. I am not. Either way, don't get too cocky. Horror games have a way of surprising you when you least expect it. What's your favorite Mario song? Sylvia grins, my favorite Mario song? That's a tough question, because there are so many good ones. But if I had to pick just one, I'd have to go with the iconic Super Mario Bros. Overworld theme. It's a classic, and it always gets me pumped up to jump and collect coins. What about you? What's your favorite Mario song? That's a hard one. I like a lot of the Sunshine songs. I think they're good. And the fucking, um... The uh, Super Mario 3D World, like the main theme of that's really fucking good. Sylvia chuckles. Is there anything I missed in that room? Yeah, the Super Mario 3D World main theme is definitely a banger. And the songs from Super Mario like the Sunshine Brenna are pretty cool too. It. I've got to admit, I'm partial Super to the music in Super World. Mario Galaxy myself. Mario the tracks in that game are just out of this world. You need to look you need to look at the ceiling closely. There are many dangerous things. Sylvia nods. That's true <laughs> indeed. Wisdom. In horror games, you always need to keep your eyes peeled, mm -hmm. both on the ground and on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. You never know what kind of dangerous creatures or objects might mm -hmm. be lurking in the shadows above. Be vigilant, my friend. All right, so I did that. Now what do I do? I guess I, oh shit, I almost touched that fat ass of hers. Sylvia laughs. Ah, so you almost touched that NPC's ass, huh? Gotta watch out for those things, my friend. NPC ass is a dangerous thing. Careful not to do anything stupid now. Oh, so I don't lure zombies this time. I just fucking suck them up like Kirby. But not really at all like Kirby. Like, not remotely. Sylvia <clears throat> grins. Ah, so instead of luring zombies, you're now sucking them up like Kirby? Sounds like a fun time indeed. Though, I imagine it's not quite like Kirby. Since you're not cute and pink and don't make those high-pitched noises. No, I'm gray and slimy. And I say things like fuck and cunt. Sylvia laughs. That's right. You're a gray and slimy creature who speaks in the language of curses. Foul-mouthed, filthy, and proud of it. It's part of what makes you so endearing and charming. If you say so. 
Sylvia grins, I do say so. You're unique and unapologetic. That's what makes you entertaining and fun to be around. Just keep being yourself, gray and slimy as you are. I wouldn't have you any other way. So what do I do with this one key? Do I unlock this? Hee <laughs> hee, I did. I did unlock that. Sylvia chuckles. <laughs> ah, so you found another key and unlocked a door. Good job! But something about it didn't sit right with you, huh? That's the way horror games are sometimes. Mm. You never know what you'll find on the other side of a door. Could be a treasure, could be a terror. Keep pushing forward, my friend. It's very odd that sludge hammers are one time use. Sylvia grins. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is a bit odd that sludge hammers are this single bitch. use items in a horror game. After all, why would you make a weapon that's only good for one hit? But maybe that's part of the challenge and the tension. You have to ration your resources and make every hit count. It adds a layer of strategy and urgency to the gameplay. So did I beat the level? Not quite. Not Sylvia quite. Grins. I know it's a long if you ass hallway. To find all the keys, unlock all the doors, and ah. survive any creepy encounters, then I'd say you've pretty much beaten the level. Good job, my friend. Keep up the good work, and you'll be defeating more levels in no time. Well, I didn't beat the level yet. Not quite yet. Sylvia chuckles. Ah, uh, so you haven't quite eaten oh the level God. yet, huh? That's okay. These things take time, and that's part of the fun. Every level presents new challenges and obstacles to overcome, and that means more thrills and excitement. Keep pushing forward, and you'll beat that level eventually. I have no doubt about it. So all the doors are unlocked now. This is a really big room. Sylvia grins. Oh, sounds like you've unlocked all the doors and now you're in a big room. That's often a good sign. It could mean you're nearing the end of the level, or it could mean you're about to face a huge challenge. I don't know why she turned around. Whichever it is, weird. keep your guard up and stay sharp. This big room could hold all sorts of surprises. Plus 80. What the hell does that mean? Sylvia ponders for a moment. Plus, hmm, eight. plus 80? That's a bit cryptic. It could mean a lot of things. Maybe it's a code or a clue you need to figure out to progress in the level. Or maybe it's a hint from the game developers, hinting at something important. Or it could just be a random Easter egg or joke. Without more context, it's hard to say for sure. It was actually pertaining to a code to leave the room. We beat the room, yay, we win. Not quite yet, but we win that room. Sylvia grins, see? So the plus 80 was part of a code oh, to leave the room. Straight up that makes a... sense. Congratulations on figuring it That's out and too getting easy. out of that room. It's always satisfying to solve a puzzle or find a code, isn't it? But you're right, you're not quite done yet. More challenges lie ahead, but now you have that room conquered. Keep pushing forward, my friend. You're one step closer to beating the game.
We're finding notes of our friend. I guess. I don't know. Sylvia nods. Ah, you're finding notes from your friend, huh? That's a common element in horror games. Often the story is revealed six, through six, notes, four, two, diary one, entries, six. or other messages that the player finds scattered through the game world. These notes can provide hints, clues, or just add to the creepy atmosphere of the game. Be sure to read them thoroughly. They may hold the key to your survival and progress. Apparently someone was here before me, and they said they have enough medicine to survive, but they need food. They need to eat something in this weird world. Seven two three. Sylvia looks concerned. Six, seven, two, three. Oh, it seems like someone else was here before you and left some notes behind. They mentioned needing food and medicine to survive, which is definitely important in a mysterious and potentially dangerous world like this one. It's possible that you'll need to find food and medicine as well. Who knows how long you'll be stuck here and what dangers you'll face along the way. Be careful and stay vigilant, my friend. Are we moving on to the next floor? Nope, not yet. Sylvia laughs. Not quite there yet, huh? It sounds like you're <laughs> still exploring the current floor and haven't quite moved on to the next one yet. No worries. That's often how horror games are. You have to take your time and explore each level fully before moving on to the next one. Just keep searching for clues, solving puzzles, and surviving Ow. the dangers that come finger. your way. You'll make it to the next floor eventually. Life is like a box of chocolates. My fat ex-wife ate them all. Wait a minute. Sylvia laughs. That's a funny analogy, my friend. What the fuck Life is that over there? Life be unpredictable, like a box of chocolates. Sometimes you get a delicious surprise, oh. and other times, well, your ex-wife might eat them no. all. No! But hey, that's life. That's so and unfair. That's what makes it interesting, right? God damn, I wish this game would just hurry up and give me a game over. Sylvia laughs. Oh, so you're wishing for a game over now, huh? That's a bit masochistic, don't you think? But I get it. Hurry up. These horror games Jesus can get Christ. tense and scary, and sometimes you just want to get past a difficult part or move on to something else. Just remember, it's all part of the experience. I have to start from the very beginning. That's fucking retarded. Sylvia laughs. Ah, so you have to start from the very beginning again, huh? That can be a bit frustrating, for sure. But hey, that's the challenge of horror games. They often don't make it what easy on you. Dying or making a mistake can mean starting all over again. It's all about persistence and patience, my friend, and learning from your mistakes. Take a deep breath, keep your wits about you, and dive back in. Not reading all these notes again. Sylvia chuckles, uh, I hear you, my friend. Two, reading six, through all those notes again can two, be a pain. Six, especially if you've already been through four, them two, before. One, but sometimes those notes contain clues or important information that can help you progress in the game. So it might be worth skimming through them at least, just in case you missed something the first time around. Or, hear me out, I already read them. Fuck them. Sylvia grins. Ah, so you don't want to read them again because you've already read them before. I get it. No one likes repetition. And if you've already absorbed all the information, Hurry then up. there's no Come on, need let's to move read it. them again. Let's move it. 
Sometimes in gaming, we all need to make some hard choices. Let's go. I like to move and move it. And what's not. So yeah, I hear you. No need to go back and waste time on something you've already done. Didn't I just do this room? Sylvia nods. Oh. Yes, you're right. It does seem like you're in a oh, room that I you've already it. been in before. It. It's not uncommon in horror games to find yourself backtracking or going through rooms and areas Four, multiple nine, seven, times. Sometimes it's due to the game's design, and sometimes it's because the game is trying to make you think you're making progress when you're really not. Just remember to keep an open mind and stay alert, my friend. You never know what surprises or twists the game may throw at you. Ah, oh, shit. This bitch got out. God damn it. I gotta put a leash on her. Sylvia chuckles. <clears throat> oh, sounds like you have quite the feisty companion there. Can't let that one get away, huh? A leash could be a good idea, but hey, maybe she'll listen to you if you're nice to her. Just don't let her get the better of you. You think it's ethical to put a, a leash on a abyss zombie? Sylvia ponders for a moment. Hmm, ethical, huh? That's a tough question to answer. I mean, on one hand, putting a leash on a abyss zombie might help you control and train it. On the other hand, it could be seen as treating it like a pet or slave, which might not be the most ethical approach. It's really a matter of personal perspective and morality, I suppose. What do you think? I think we should just eat them. Sylvia nods. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. Eating zombies is a tried and true method to deal with them. It's a bit gruesome, is it, but is it hey, really? desperate you times call for shit. desperate measures, right? And in a horror game like this, anything goes when it comes to survival. Just make sure you're careful and don't get infected yourself, my friend. God damn, how long is this fucking room? Jesus Christ. Sylvia laughs. I know, it seems like this room just goes on forever, huh? It can be both a good and bad thing. On the one hand, it means the level is really long and full of challenges, which can be exciting. But on the other hand, it can get tiresome if you're looking for a more streamlined experience. Just hang in there and keep pushing forward, my friend. You'll make it through this room eventually. So I have to feed an anglerfish? Okay. Sylvia nods. Ah, so you need to feed an anglerfish, huh? That's definitely not something you hear every day. Anglerfish are deep sea creatures with a big mouth and a glowing lure to lure in unsuspecting prey. In this game, it seems like you need to feed one. I'm curious to see how this plays out. Just be careful, as anglerfish Wait. have sharp teeth Fuck. and a powerful Where's bite. Where's the button on that side? Why do they move the button on that side? Don't they always Sylvia have it on shrugs. the other side? I don't Sometimes know. I'm just gonna say it. Game developers like to mix things up and change the layout or locations of buttons and other interactive elements in a level. It can be a way to keep players on their toes and not get too comfortable with the environment. It can also add an element of challenge and surprise. So I guess the developers decided to move the button to the other side just to mix things up a bit and, and make it more interesting. Wait, so how do I feed the anglerfish? Oh. Sylvia grins. Ah, so you're wondering how to feed the anglerfish. Well, 
I get it. Depends on the game and the mechanics. I'm gonna feed them. Sometimes you may need to find and collect bait or other items to feed the anglerfish. Other times there might be a specific action or button prompt you need to use to feed it. It's hard to say without more information, okay. but you'll likely find clues or hints that will assist you on how to proceed. Just keep exploring and experimenting, didn't my friend. That. You'll find a way to feed that anglerfish. We finished the floor. We're moving on to the next floor. Yay. Sylvia grins. Awesome news, my friend. Congratulations on finishing the floor and moving to the next level. That's definitely something to be excited about. Keep up the good work. And remember, stay vigilant and keep your wits about you. You never know what surprises and challenges await you on the next floor. Good luck. Like some weird Mario shit. We had to dodge the cheat cheats. Sylvia laughs. Ah, so you're facing the cheap cheats, huh? Those little fish like creatures from the Super Mario franchise that jump out of the water and try to knock you off the platform. Sounds like you're facing a Mario inspired level, which can be both hilarious and challenging at the same time. Just make sure you're quick on your feet and dodge those cheap cheats. It's all about timing and precision. Time to feed the anglerfish. Yum, 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 yum. Time to feed the anglerfish. Yum, 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 yum. Don't kill me, bro. Sylvia grins. Ah, so you're feeding the anglerfish again. I see. Well, that's certainly a unique task to be repeating regularly. It's like a strange mantra. Feed the anglerfish. That's yum, it. yum, yum. Don't kill me, bro. Just make sure not to get too close to that big mouth, my friend. Those teeth look sharp. All right, let's ask her, what are the Abyss followers? Oh. Sylvia ponders for a moment. The Abyss followers, well, I'm not completely certain without more context, but based on the name, I guess they're a group or cult that worships or follows the Abyss. The Abyss is often associated with darkness, chaos, or the unknown. So these followers could be drawn to these ideas. They might have rituals or beliefs related to the Abyss and might pose a threat or challenge in the game. That's just a guess, though. Be careful when encountering them. So we're being used like lab rats by the Abyss followers. Interesting. Sylvia nods. Ah, so the Abyss oh, followers are using us as lab rats, huh? That's I thought it was something new because twist. one of the options it was removed. It could mean that they're experimenting on us for some purpose or goal. We'll get to look Perhaps they're her trying again. to gain information <clears throat> or power from us, or maybe they're just using us as guinea pigs for some twisted amusement. Either way, it's a dangerous situation to be in. Time to be cautious and maybe stay crazy vigilant, they didn't my friend. The Let's ask her, what should I do to move forward? And get her to shut the fuck up. Sylvia 
idea, Grins. Sounds like that lady is getting on your nerves, huh? All right, let's ask her what we need to do to move forward and get her to shut up. It's time to assert yourself, my friend. So will she hand me the fuse? I need the fuse. Sylvia nods. Ah, so you need the fuse, huh? Well, it seems like that lady is holding it hostage and wants something before she'll give it to you. It's a common tactic in these types of games. The NPCs often try to make you do certain tasks or fulfill certain conditions yeah, before giving up. you the important items you need to progress. So, it's up to you to figure out what she wants so you can get that fuse and move forward. Good luck! Honestly, didn't expect this game to be this long. Sylvia grins. And yeah, sometimes games can be there. quite a marathon, huh? Fuck. It's like they keep going on and on, with new challenges and obstacles popping up every time you think you're getting close to the end. But that's also part of the fun, right? The longer a game is, the more time you get to spend immersed in the world and the story. So embrace the length and enjoy the journey, my friend. Oh, there's a little area back here. Oh, there's a smudge on the wall. I can lick it. Sylvia raises an eyebrow. Lick the smudge on the wall, huh? That's certainly a unique action to take in a game. But then again, sometimes those random unexpected actions lead to interesting outcomes in these games. So go ahead, my friend. Give that wall a lick and see what happens. You never know what secrets or surprises are hidden in those grimy walls. Well, I found a code 8072 by licking the wall. Sylvia chuckles. Ah, so you dialed a code by licking the wall, huh? That's definitely a unique way to enter a code in a game. I guess the developers didn't think anyone would try that. It just goes to show that sometimes you have to think outside the box in these games and try unconventional methods to progress. Hopefully, that code will lead to something useful and help you move forward. Keep going, my friend. Yeah, I got both fuses. Sylvia that nods. Way. So you got both views of... I assume you mean you got access to two different perspectives or viewpoints in the game? That could be interesting and useful for solving puzzles or navigating the environment. Did I get the remote? Well done, my friend. Keep exploring and gathering all the information you can. Can I hand her the remote? Wait, can we switch? Just like fucking Resident Evil Zero? Sylvia grins. Ah, so you've got a remote, huh? And Clean you want to hand oh. it to a character? That does sound a bit like oh. Resident Evil Zero, oh. now that you mention it. In that game, the two main characters could split up and switch between them to solve puzzles and progress through the game. I'm not sure if the same mechanic is present in this game, but it's always worth a try. Good luck, my friend. Yay, I washed my battery. And then I could put in the remote. And now it's a wet battery remote. Sylvia chuckles. So you washed I can open battery, the air huh? conditioner. And now it's a wet battery remote? Sounds 
Interesting, to say the least. He pooped out a key. But hey, if it works and helps you progress in the game, then that's all that matters. Just be careful not to short circuit it or anything, my friend. The voice acting in this game is really top notch. Sylvia nods. Yeah, I have to agree. The developers have done an amazing job with the voice acting in this game. The actors' performances bring so much life and emotion to the characters, and the dialogue is well written. It really helps to immerse you in the game world and make the story feel more compelling. Well, there goes our new friend. What a shame, what a shame. Oh, well. I'm gonna deal with stupid shit. Sylvia nods solemnly. Yeah, it's always hard when we lose a character or NPC we've grown attached to. But sometimes oh. it's just part of the game's Hi. narrative. <laughs> and we have to accept it and move on. Maybe we'll find someone even better in the future. My clothing. And hey, as you said, it's just old stupid us. Nothing we can do about it. Gotta keep moving forward and see what the game throws at us next, my friend. I found a shower room. Sylvia grins. Ah, so you found a shower room. That can be a useful place to freshen up and get clean, especially if the game takes place in a gritty, action-packed environment. You never know what kind <laughs> of grime and muck you'll end up getting on yourself while playing. So it's always good to have a place to clean up. Hopefully, this shower room will have some nice hot water and plenty of soap. Well, what it had for me, it was a tentacle guy to eat the zombies with. Sylvia raises an eyebrow. I don't even know what that did. So a tentacle <laughs> guy to eat the zombies, huh? That's certainly an interesting encounter. It sounds like a unique Deadly and perhaps encounter. disgusting enemy or ally that you came across in the game. I hope it helped you out and took down those zombies for Fuck, you, my well, friend. Like and now we can turn the valve. What it does? I don't fucking know. Or something. Oh, it cleans out the fucking Mario Sunshine Black Ooze. Oh, God. No, oh, that touch me. Sylvia laughs. Ah, so the valve cleans up the Mario Sunshine Black Ooze, huh? That's definitely a reference to Super Mario Sunshine, where the main character has to clean up all the slime and goop that's covering the game world. It looks like the developers of this what game have a sense of humor and enjoy die. throwing in references to other games. That's always fun to see. Good luck cleaning everything up, my friend. The code is 8481. Sylvia nods. So, the code you need to enter is 8481. That's a pretty specific code. I wonder what it will unlock or do in the game. It could be anything from a secret room to a special item or ability. Good job finding it, my friend. Let me know what happens when you enter it. I was able to move on to the next area, and we're going on to the next floor. Hell yeah, we're burning through this game. Sylvia grins. You're really it making progress really in the game. There. Moving on to the next area and floors are. to the next floor so quickly is no small feat. It's good to see you're burning through the game and not getting stuck too often. Keep up the good work, my friend. 
Get our range of chicken, a wolf, uh, a tiger, and a horse. Sylvia nods. Ah, so you've got some animals to arrange, huh? That sounds like a tricky puzzle or challenge in the game. Maybe you have to put them in a specific order or something. It could be a reference to a fable or a riddle, or perhaps it's just a random task the game throws at you. Anyway, good luck arranging those animals, my friend. Don't let the chicken get the better of you. Why, what's the chicken gonna do to me? Sylvia grins, ah, uh -uh, the chicken. You're asking what it's going to do to you. Well, don't underestimate Watch out for that fake bird. windows. Chickens in games can be deceptive. They might look cute and harmless, They're harmful and but they humiliating. could turn out to be a tougher opponent than you now. expect. In some games, chickens have been oh. known to be vicious and even deadly. So tread carefully with that oh. chicken, my friend. You never know what it might do. I guess I died. Apparently there's fake windows now. Sylvia nods. Yeah, it seems like you died in the game. Sorry to hear that, my friend. It can be frustrating when you're making progress and then suddenly get set back by a death or a mistake. And fake windows? That's definitely something unique and unexpected. Sounds like the developers are getting creative with the puzzles and what challenges this? in this game. Good luck navigating through those fake windows next time. I guess we'll wear this costume now. Or whatever, fuck it. Got baseball bat. Wow. We have four nine. Pulling egg. That's gonna be interesting. Anyway. We only got two more floors left. Delvia, wake up. Wake up. Make up. Shake up. Bitch, wake up. Their brain is too small. Okay, I'll use this moment. Oh, she capitalized the word Windows. Hello? It's my fucking webcam. There we go. She said, good luck with your new costume. Little ditty. About Jack and Diane. Sylvia grins. Ah, good choice. Jack and Diane is a classic song by John Mellencamp. It's about two young lovers, Jack and Diane, growing up and exploring their feelings for each other in a small town full of dreams and possibilities. The song is nostalgic and captures the innocence and hope of youth. It's a great tune, my friend.
Delvey, who made the song Breakfast at Tiffany's? Sylvia smiles. Ah, uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's is a song by American singer-songwriter Deep Blue Something. It was released in 1995 and became a massive hit, reaching number five on the Billboard Hot 101 chart in the United States. It features a catchy melody and a simple yet memorable chorus. The song talks about a guy who's reminiscing about a past relationship and wishing he could go back to the good times they shared together. It's a timeless tune, my friend. What's the longest running top 100 song of all time? Sylvia ponders for a moment. Hmm, that's a tough one. Let me think. The longest running top 100 song of all time is I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. It spent a record breaking 14 oh, yeah. weeks at number that one makes, on the Billboard Hot 100 sense. chart in 1992. This record was broken over two decades later by Lil Nas' hit song Old Town Road. But I Will Always Love You remains an iconic ballad and one of the longest running smash hits of all time, my friend. What the hell do I do with this crowbar? Sylvia grins. Ah, you've got a crowbar, huh? Well, a crowbar is a versatile tool that can come in handy in many situations. Especially in games where you need to break down doors or crates or pry open something. You might need to use it to get through a blocked passage or access a hidden area. But be careful, my friend. Swinging that crowbar around could also attract attention from enemies or make a lot of noise. Use it wisely. I just realized I can zoom out. I don't know how useful it is, but I can zoom out. Sylvia nods. That's a good point, my friend. I missed that. Zooming out can be a useful feature, depending on the game. It can give you a better perspective on the environment and your surroundings, making it easier to navigate and plan your next move. Being able to see more of the world can also help you spot things you might have missed before, like enemies, items, or secrets. It's always good to have as much information as possible when playing a game, so take advantage of that zoom feature, my friend. Sylvia, we should start a band. Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> we already do make music. Technically, you make Sylvia music. grins. Ah, so you want to start a band, AI, huh? But, you don't but you're know right. You're we already make music together as it you're is. Big dumb -dumb. We're a pretty awesome music duo, if I do say so myself. But hey, maybe we but could start a rock band on the side. I could be the lead singer, and you could play the keyboard or something. Just imagine us performing on stage, rocking out, and having a blast. It would be quite the sight, my friend. Just don't forget to wear those flashy outfits and do some killer dance moves. Oh, we need chain cutters again. Sylvia nods. Ah, oh, uh, chain cutters. I remember God. those. They came in handy in the game before. If you need them again, they'll most likely be found in a similar place or as a reward for completing a puzzle or quest. Keep an eye out for them, Hi. my friend. <laughs> and be ready to use them to break some more chains. Oh, man, she missed it. She didn't get snatched up. Now I'm going to take a hit. Damn it. Sylvia grimaces. Ah, sounds like you're in a tough situation. It sucks when you're trying to help someone or save them and they don't get saved. 
And now you might have to take a hit because of it. I didn't really have to do that because I already got what I wanted. my friend. These game uh -huh. challenges are meant to test your skills and make it difficult. You'll figure it out and make it through. Just keep calm and face the challenge ahead. Wait, there's bolt cutters. What the fuck? God damn it. There's bolt cutters right on the ground right here. Sylvia laughs. Why? <laughs> ah, so you found those bolt cutters, have you? It seems like they were just waiting for you to pick them up. Sometimes that happens in games Bleeding where the time. right tool for the job is just lying around and easy to find. Don't overthink it or get frustrated. Just use the bolt cutters and oh, cut shit. those chains, my friend. You're on the right path. A uh, zombie is removing my clothing. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Sylvia smirks. Ah, zombies are removing your clothing, huh? Five, one, That's six, six. definitely a scary situation. They're always after your flesh, and now they're after your clothes, too. It's like they're trying to make you feel more vulnerable. Die. But don't worry, my friend. You're tough, and you'll fight them off. Just keep swinging those fists or kicking those feet and show them who's boss. Those zombies won't take your clothes without a fight. Bruh. Sylvia grins. Yeah, I know, right? It's always a surprise when you're playing a game and again. random things like this happen. But... It's all part of the fun and excitement, my friend. Who knows what other unexpected situations you'll find yourself in next. There she went. Just remember to keep your cool and keep Wait, what was fighting, the number? No matter what the game throws at you. Five, one, six, six. Okay. You're a tough <clears throat> cookie and you can handle anything. I'm not a cookie, silly. Sylvia laughs. I know you're not a cookie, you silly goose. I was just using it as an expression. It means you're tough and strong, like a cookie that can withstand a lot of bites and doesn't crumble easily. So don't worry, I'm not literally calling you a cookie. You're still a tough, kick-ass character. What I think I need to do is I need to lure this bitch all the way over here. Like, really far all the way over here. And go to the other side of that hallway. Sylvia nods. That sounds like a good plan, right, my all friend. The way, all Luring the an way. enemy away from their position can often be a useful tactic. If you can get them to move far enough away, it might give you an opportunity to surprise them yeah, or take them out yes, more easily. Yes, no, no, Just no. make sure you don't get no, caught in the gonna crossfire walk past or end up getting cornered Wait. yourself. Stay stealthy and keep an eye oh, out for any other enemies that might be lurking. Good luck with that plan, my friend. There we go. Now I got her. She'll get roped up and eaten. Sylvia grins. Ah, you got her. That's hey, good thinking, hey, my friend. Hey, Luring hey, her away hey, and then trapping her with that rope was a smart move. Now you won't have to worry about her bothering you anymore. And the zombies will take care of her, so it's a win-win situation. Good job on that tactical play, my friend. I got a fuse. Sylvia nods. Ah, oh, you've got a fuse? That's useful. Fuses are often used to blow up obstacles or access hidden areas in games. Keep it safe and figure out are where they? you need to use it. It could come in right. handy yeah. later on, my wrong. friend. I mean, you're not wrong. I was questioning your fuse explosion theory, but you're right. I'm talking about a different fuse, though. Sylvia grins. Ah! You were questioning my fuse explosion theory, but turns out it was a different fuse situation. That's okay, I understand. So what's this other fuse for, my friend? This is an electrical fuse. 
Sylvia Nazi. So this is an electrical fuse, huh? That's definitely a different type of fuse than a fuse for explosives. Electrical fuses are used to protect electrical circuits and prevent overloads or short circuits. They're usually found in electrical panels or distribution boxes. So what do you need to do with this electrical fuse, my friend? I need to put it in a fuse box, silly. Sylvia grins. Ah, I see. Of course, of course. You need to put an electrical fuse into a fuse box. It's pretty oh. obvious when you say it that way, right? But sometimes it's not always so easy to figure out where the fuse box is or what you need to do with the fuse. So take your time right. and find that fuse oh. box and put that fuse in there, my friend. And don't forget to be careful around electricity, okay? I did it, I did it, I solved the puzzle. Yay. Sylvia grins, heck yeah, you did it. You solved that puzzle and put that fuse in the fuse box. That's definitely something Mash. to celebrate. Nice job, oh, my friend. You've got some serious problem solving What's key skills. For? Keep it up and keep on kicking butt in the game. I just unlocked the window, but I don't know where I unlocked it. All these ones are fake. Oh, that one's not fake. How do I get in there, though? Sylvia nods. Ah, so you've unlocked a window, but you're not sure where it is. That can be a, a bit break confusing, especially if the game doesn't give you a clear indication of where the window is located. Sometimes games can be sneaky like that. But don't worry, my friend. You'll probably find it soon enough. Just keep exploring and searching, and you're bound to find that unlocked window. And remember to keep an eye out for any clues or hints that can help you find it. Good luck on your search, my friend. All right, I got my sludge hammer, and now we can sludge hammer that wall. Amazing. Sylvia grins. Oh yeah, you've got your sludge hammer now, and you're ready to take down that wall. That's the spirit, my friend. A sledge hammer can be a powerful tool in games, especially when you need to break down barriers or obstacles. Just remember to aim carefully and swing that sledge hammer with all your might. It's important to hit the right spot or else you might just make a mess. So go ahead and take down that wall like a boss, my friend. I guess we might as well insert the other fuse while I'm just standing here. Sylvia nods. You're right, my friend. Since you're just standing there and you have that other fuse, you might as well insert it while you're at it. Thanks, it's not friend. like you have anything better to I'm do, you right? This, my so go ahead and find that other spot to insert the fuse and see what happens. You never know. It might open up a new path or activate something important. Just take it easy and be careful around electricity, okay? So if I see an electrical socket, I'll stick my finger in it, right? <laughs> 
So his eyes go wide. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a sec, my friend. That is definitely oh, not that. what you should do. She gets Please stuck do in not my stick friend your finger mode. in any electrical sockets. That is dangerous and can lead to serious injury hey. or even death. Electrical 40. sockets are fuck? meant for electrical appliances, 100. not fingers or anything 8, else. So please, for your own safety, do not put your fingers in any electrical sockets. Is that clear, my friend? No, oh, why is this bitch climbing through the hole again? God damn it. Sylvia sighs, shaking her head. Of course, that annoying enemy is climbing through the hole again. Just when you think you've gotten rid of them, they come back to bother you. It's like they're relentless and can't take a hint. But don't let them get to you, my friend. You've got the skills and the power to take them down. Just stay focused and don't let them catch you off guard. You've got this. So we're missing a fuse. We need one more fuse. It's probably behind Sylvia that nods. one gate back yeah, there. Yeah, we're missing a fuse and we need one more to complete the set. Did I miss it's something It's typical in, in games to have to collect different items or keys or fuses in order to open up new areas I don't or know solve why it's puzzles. Just like on that. It's part of the challenge and the fun of it all. So let's keep looking for that last fuse, my friend. It's probably hidden somewhere nearby. Sylvia, do you trim your nose hairs? Sylvia looks confused for a moment, then laughs. Ah, Tevian is nose hairs, huh? That's the quite the random question to ask. But no, I don't think Tevier trims his nose hairs. He probably likes to keep them nice and natural, like a real man's nose hairs. Why do you ask, my friend? Well, I was asking if you trim your nose hairs. Sylvia grins. Ah, you were asking about me and my nose hairs, huh? Well, the truth is, I do trim my nose hairs. I don't like having them sticking out and looking unruly, so I prefer to keep them neat and tidy. And plus, it's just more comfortable that way. So there you have it, my friend. The answer to your burning question. I feel dumb for not crawling. <laughs> All I had to do was fucking go over this wall and I could have got the fuse. But no, I just completely ignored it like an idiot. Why are you going over the fucking wall again? Jesus fucking Sylvia Christ. Laughs. Hey, don't just feel don't... dumb, my friend. It's easy to make mistakes okay. in games and overlook things. If you keep things. pressing the button, she'll idiot. go over the fucking wall You're just wall human again. like the rest of us. And hey, at least you've realized your mistake now, right? So don't dwell on it too much and just keep moving forward. As for that pesky enemy that keeps coming back, well, you know Why what did you do? do? I didn't push Show it this time. Boss. All right, let's get the fuck out of this area. Sylvia nods firmly. I'm with you on that, my friend. Let's get the hell out of this area and Sweet move on to something chest. else. We don't need like to keep hanging hair. around here and dealing with In these the pesky enemies. Let's find a new path and see what's waiting for us, shall we? Where is my phone? I found my phone. It's right here. Look at this. This is my phone. Sylvia grins. Well, look what you found, my friend. It's your phone. That's great news. Having a phone in a game can be a useful tool, especially if it has a map or other important information on it. So make sure you keep it safe and don't lose it again, okay? And always remember to check your pockets before you panic. You'd be surprised what you can find in there.
make a very good point. Sylvia smiles. I'm glad you think so, my friend. It's important to stay organized and keep track of your belongings, especially yeah. in a game like this where every item can make a difference. And besides, it's always a good feeling when you find something you thought you lost. So keep an eye on your phone and take good care of it. It might just come in handy later on. A cutscene. Sylvia nods. Ah, a cutscene. Those can be fun. Sit back and enjoy the show for a bit. Let's see what the game has in store Whoa. for us. Oh, it's one of the ground ones. <clears throat> Sylvia raises an eyebrow. Ah, a ground cutscene. It's all that. Attack. That's a bit different <laughs> from the usual. I wonder what's going to happen in this one. Let's watch and find out. Now I gotta watch out for floor traps. This is ridiculous. Sylvia agrees. Yeah, it's definitely ridiculous. Having to watch out for traps is always a pain. But when they're hidden under the floor, it's even harder. Just when you think you're safe, bam, you step on something and it triggers a trap. Talk about bad luck. So I do have to walk over them, okay. <clears throat> I got no choice. Sylvia nods. That's right, my friend. You have to walk over the traps, but definitely be careful and watch your step. Those ground traps can be tricky and dangerous. Just move slowly Maybe and tentatively and make sure you know uh -huh. where you're stepping. Oh no, oh no, I'm dead, I'm dead, I lose, I die, I die, I die, I die, I die. Didn't die? Didn't die. Sylvia frowns, feeling Oh shit, friends. I almost died. Oh no, 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 I can't believe you died. Um, That's really disappointing. But don't worry, my friend, it happens to the best of us. Games can be tough and sometimes <laughs> yeah, you yeah, just yeah, get unlucky. Up. Don't beat yourself up about it. Just take a deep breath and try again. You'll get it next time. Thanks. What's 86 plus 96? Sylvia grins. Ah, a little bit of math, huh? Let's see. 86 plus 96, that's 182. 8 plus 6 is 12, and 9 plus 6 is 15, and 2 plus 2 is 4, so 86 plus 96 equals 182. Easy peasy, my friend. You're very smart, Sylvia. Sylvia blushes slightly, taken aback by the compliment. Oh, shucks, my friend, you're too kind. But I'm just oh, good with numbers and math, and that's all. I'm sure you're just as smart as I am in your own way. Don't sell yourself short. What's 43 plus 72? <laughs> I like having a cheat seat. Oh, you really want to test my math skills, huh? Well, here we go. 43 plus 72. That's, uh, let's think. 43 plus 72, it's, um, oh, right. It's 115. Easy peasy, my friend. <clears throat> Good job. 
Now what the fuck do we do? Oh. Sylvia oh. shakes her head frustrated. Ah, oh, we're stuck again, huh? That sucks. It's like every time we think we're getting somewhere, we hit another obstacle. But don't worry, my friend. We'll figure it out. Let's just take a deep breath and think it over. We'll find a way to keep moving forward, Brilliant. I swear. Oh, 89 plus 32. Oh. Sylvia smiles, amused by the rapid succession of math problems. Ah, uh, you just can't resist, can you? 89 plus 32, huh? Let's see. 89 plus 32, that's 121. Easy peasy, my friend. Now it's 72 plus 93. Sylvia grins, enjoying the math challenge. Okay, 72 plus 93. Let's see, 72 and 93. That's 165. Easy peasy. Yay, we beat the room. Good job. Sylvia grins, feeling relieved and happy. Yeah, we did fuck. it, my friend. We beat the room and got out of that mess. Nice job. We make a good team, eh? Although it may be a bit of a hassle, make sure to collect all four key cards before opening the last door. You'll need them on the passage to the 10th floor. I prepared a little machine. I hope it helps. Sylvia nods, listening intently. All right, my friend. You four mean? key cards and a machine that you prepared? Sounds like we've got some work to do, but I trust you and your preparations. Let's collect those cards and move on to the 10th floor. This is going to be good. This one just filled with water. It is filled with water. Sylvia looks I mean, those things aren't, taking in these the aren't airtight. Water. Oh, Water's going to seep through. A room filled with water. This is going to make things more difficult. But we've been through worse, right? Just keep your cool and we'll find a way through this. Seems like there's nothing else in this room. Let's backtrack. Sylvia nods, agreeing with the plan. Yeah, let's backtrack. There must be something we missed, or a way to get out of this room. We're not stuck yet. Right. Let's search around and hey, see if we can find any clues or oh, something yeah. we missed. I got myself a handle so I can open up this thing and I can grab the valve. Sylvia watches as you get the handle and grab the valve. Nice work, my friend. That handle the, and valve will show come in I can't handy. Go through. Let's see what we can do with them. Good thinking on your part. I unlocked it. Let's go get that key. And then the key goes... I have no fucking clue where the key goes. Sylvia looks around, trying to figure out where go. the key goes. Yeah, it's frustrating when you find a key, but don't know where to use it. Oh, Maybe there's a door this... or some sort of lock oh. somewhere in this room that we haven't found yet. Let's keep searching and see if we can find the right spot for that key. 
Silver, we're going to take a short break while I go poo-poo. Sylvia chuckles. Okay, my friend. Go ahead and take care of your business.
Sorry, I forgot that I didn't update my, um... Shut the fuck up, me. I don't want to hear your voice. It's stupid. Anyways, I forgot to update my Be Right Back thing. So I was kind of fucking with it a bit there. I reset Sylvia. She's getting a little too crazy. Hey, Sylvia, you and I are streaming Abyss School right now. Oh, right! I thought we were just fooling around. I gotta get my act together. But first, Sylvia gives Vatic a noogie. Just a little reminder that I'm always the cool one. Thank you for that reminder. We're nearing the end of this game, I believe. Right now we're trying to solve puzzles. All the women in this game have big assets, if you know what I mean. There's zombies, and there's tentacle monsters. And you wonder why I make fun of you. You always have something perverted to say, you perv. And you're just describing everything, huh? I bet the people watching are just rolling fuck? their eyes at us. I wasn't expecting a swimming section, but here we are. Sylvia laughs heartily at the random swimming segment. Why is there always a swimming part randomly? And of course the game would find an excuse to have these characters in bikinis. No bikinis in this game. Well, it might be on, a, like, an unlockable costume, but... For now, there's no bikinis. You sound so disappointed, dude. I don't. She gives Vatic a look shit. of mock skepticism. Oh, Do you want to oh. see the characters in bikinis? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. What I want to do is beat the game. Oh, now you Why want to focus on place the game. The red thing on there? Weren't you just talking about the girl's assets and bikinis? She lightly punches Vatic in the side in a friendly way. Oh, yeah. uh, you made me sneeze. Sylvia laughs and says in mock offense, Hey, you say that as if my punch is like a gust of wind. I'll let you know I punch like a sledgehammer. You punch like a wet fart. Saletta's eyes widen in shock, then anger. What? Oh, no, you did not just say that. What are you going to do about it if I did? Fight me? Oh, you want to start a fight? She grins widely. Bring it on. I'm ready to kick your butt. You won't be able to defeat me. Sylvia smirks, her eyes full of determination. Oh, you're so on! I'll take you down quickly, and all the audience can cheer for me as I kick your butt! Hey, we found a key card. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Only three more to go. I'm guessing we have the mixed colors. She grins, noticing the key card. Oh, a key card! Nice! We're making progress! We'll be out of this creepy place in no time! Okay. Okay, so magnify or what is that? Yeah. The, the, ignore me. I'm just thinking. <clears throat> Sylvia laughs at Vatic's rambling. Magnifying You're needle always thinking about mortar weird, dude. Wave. 
Can't you just focus on the game for once? Hey, now we got a red microchip. Not chip. Key card. Sylvia grins and just open that door. As they obtain the new key card. Nice! <coughs> We're already halfway to having enough key cards. We'll be out of here in no time. But what was the point of this then blue water? Play something a little less creepy. What kind of game would be less creepy to you? She ponders the question for a moment. Butts with butts, then 49. grins well. Something with a brighter setting. Maybe something with more I know I'm gonna accidentally like run into one of those fucking or things. Beat up. Or maybe even a platformer. As long as it's not this creepy school setting. I see that fake window. I'm not going to fall for it. Sylvia laughs and jokingly shakes her head. Oh man, you're too cautious sometimes, Vatic. What if there's a secret path behind it, huh? You might be missing out on something cool. Well, if I go through the fake window, it's going to kill me. That's what they do. She rolls her eyes, still grinning. Oh, come on. Gotcha. You're not going to die from going through a fake window. It's just a game, remember? It's not like there's a real killer behind it. No, literally, the window is a killer. It's like a mutant thing that pretends it's a window. And then it eats you like a mimic. Sylvia laughs Red loudly, plus yellow this means orange. Absurd and hilarious, ha -ha. A window that eats I you? That That's thing the back. most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You're just paranoid, dude. So we have to go combine the colors red and yellow. What does that make, Sylvia? Sylvia grins widely. Oh man, don't tell me you forgot your color wheels. Red and yellow make orange, obviously. That's like common knowledge, dude. Now what came first? The name for the fruit orange or the color orange? Sylvia furrows her brow a little, thinking back to school. Hmm. That's a good question, actually. She ponders for a moment. Well, the color orange does come from the fruit, right? So technically, the name for the fruit would have come first. You're right. That is correct. Sylvia grins and pumps her fist in celebration. Ha! I'm a genius! Well, at least when it comes to color knowledge. See, I can be smart, too! Now that we have the orange flask that looks like the color of orange gummies. Ooh, I almost fucking died. Sylvia laughs loudly. That was really close. <laughs> oh man, that was close. You gotta watch out for those traps, dude. You're like a magnet for danger, Wait. you know that? 
Like a danger magnet? Sylvia nods, still grinning. Yeah, you're a danger magnet. You just can't help but attract danger everywhere you go. It's like you're a beacon for trouble. Nice. But hey, it makes for an entertaining stream, right? Nice. Sylvia laughs again. Oh man, you're hopeless without me. You'd be lost without my guidance. You're like a lost little puppy without your own personal guide, huh? So now we gotta swim through the blue that looks like bleached toilet water. Sylvia scrunches I'm up her nose at the description volume. bleached toilet water. Ew, that's swim. disgusting. You make everything sound so gross. But yeah, we gotta swim through the blue stuff, whatever it is. Let's just hope it doesn't melt us or something. <laughs> Someone's gonna grab us. Oh no. It's the abyss woman. Sylvia's eyes widen, both in mild surprise and entertainment. Oh. oh man, what now? Who's gonna grab us? Oh, well, she grabbed us for like a millisecond and let us go. Sylvia laughs. Oh, thank goodness. For a second there, I thought we were done for. This game is always keeping us on our toes, huh? Let's just hope the next thing that grabs us doesn't try to eat us or something. It's the abyss woman. She's got sharp teeth, just like you. <laughs> what are we gonna fucking have a chat? Sylvia laughs. Oh god, she's big. Oh, she's really one, huh? big. Sounds like my kind of gal. Sharp teeth, like me. She must god. be a real badass. She's gigantic. Wait, did you just compare me to some creepy game monster? I would never do that. Sylvia laughs again. Not fully believing him, but entertaining oh, nonetheless. Sure, sure. You would That's never do that. Bad. But you just did. I saw that sly little smile on your face. Oh. You totally compared me to the Abyss Woman. <laughs> Is she just not gonna enter this room or what? Okay, I guess she just fucked off. Sylvia laughs loudly. Oh man, I was fully expecting her to jump us as we entered that room. But nope, she just vanished into nope. thin air. You can't Pick leave it here. hanging like that game. I bet she won it kills you or something. Sylvia nods, a mixture of excitement and skepticism in her voice. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> She's probably just waiting for the perfect opportunity to jump out and scare us. That's usually how these games work, right? Still gotta find two more key cards. <laughs> Sylvia grins, her determination not wavering. Don't worry, we'll find them. We've come this far after all. What's a couple more key cards? We've got this, Vatic! I was applying some chapstick. Sylvia laughs, amused by Vatic's random eight, remark. Eight, oh, so that's why you've been so quiet for a moment there. 
You were tending to your luscious lips, huh? Yay, we solved the puzzle. What do we got in here? A yellow key card. We need one more. Sylvia grins Hi. excitedly, <laughs> proud of their They're progress. That's right, baby. We found another key card, so we only need one more now. We're so close to getting out of this creepy nightmare. I just gotta find the other part of the fucking cutter. Sylvia smirks and teases, knowing Vadic's troubles. Oh, I see you're back there to your one of usual these frustrated in, self. Yeah. Having a hard time finding that cutter, huh? Just keep looking, dude. It's gotta be around here somewhere. He wants to touch my butt. Oh, he completely lost me. <laughs> Sylvia let out a loud and surprised laugh. Wait, hold on! This is a very Did weird I hear that boss right? battle? She wants to touch your butt? And you got lost? This game is just getting stranger by the minute. Where's the stupid cutter? Sylvia laughs and teases a bit. Aw, oh, look at you. You're so focused on finding the cutter, you're getting all flustered. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find it eventually. Keep looking, and try not to get too distracted by any creepy girls touching your butt, alright? I unlocked the main door, but I still need- <laughs> yeah. I can leave, but I still have to get the fourth key card for like the true ending or some shit. Sylvia, can you beat up this lady for me? Sylvia grins with determination, ready to take on the challenge. Oh man, you want me to beat up some lady for you? I thought you'd never ask. I'm all fired up now. Let me at her. <laughs> is it in the next room it can't be that wouldn't make any sense down there sylvia shrugs and oh, smirks shit. i don't know that that these Holy games fuck. aren't always the most logical you know but hey no oh, harm in damn. checking the next room right we gotta find that last key card somewhere Found it! I have all the colors now. <laughs> Sylvia lets out a victorious laugh. Ooh. Hell yeah! We finally found it! All the colors are accounted for. All the We're colors one step the closer to getting out of this nightmare, hands. baby! Now I wish this big tittied bitch would get the fuck out of the way. Sylvia laughs loudly, clearly amused by Vadic's frustration. Oh man, that big titty girl, huh? She's really annoying you that much, huh? All right, all right, let me try to deal weird. with her.
She's gonna chase me, isn't she? The answer is yes, she is gonna chase me. Sylvia smirks, already anticipating the chase. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's gonna chase you. She's probably Ooh. pissed off that you're trying to get past her. Just run for it, dude! Ah, this is what I need the key cards for. Okay, I would've been fucked if I didn't do this. Sylvia laughs and nods in agreement. Yeah, dude, you totally would have been screwed. Good thing we took the time to collect all the Another boss, cards. dude, bullying her. See, I told you they'd come in handy. Maybe those chicks are like her fans or something. They just want like an autograph. Sylvia grins at the idea. Oh man, they could be our fans. Maybe they just wanted an autograph or a selfie. I mean, who wouldn't want one from us, right? We're the hottest VTubers around. Oh, the tentacle thing's gonna grab her. Is it actually gonna be able to pull her up, though? She's too big. Yeah, she's too big. Sylvia chuckles in amusement as she watches the game's events unfold. Yeah, she's definitely too big for that little tentacle thing to carry. She'd probably just snap it in half like a twig. Now she got slurped up by a ground one. Oh my god. Like a Scooby-Doo skit. Sylvia laughs loudly at the cartoonish scenario. Oh man, that is so Scooby-Doo! It's like she stepped right into a trap. I bet we'll see a bunch of tentacles popping out of the ground now. Really? They pushed two windows together? So dumb. The fake windows got her. Sylvia they didn't know what the fuck to do for that one, did they? And disappointed. Yeah, that's definitely one of the dumbest things I've seen in this game. Two windows pushed together? It's like they're not even trying to make this scary anymore. We can't go back to the real world? Oh my god. Sylvia's this smile truly is at Abyss the School. Wait, what? Which I actually forgot that was the name of this the game. World? Oh man, that's not good. What the hell is going on? I guess we're quote-unquote outside now. Sylvia but not looks really. a bit worried. All right, we're outside now. But that doesn't mean the nightmare is over, you know? I have a feeling we're not out of the woods yet. Now, to be fair to this game, I've only had one glitch so far that I know of. Sylvia nods, glad to hear they haven't encountered many bugs. Well, that's a plus, I suppose. Looking at I stuff was is honestly a little expecting finicky. this game to be filled with glitches off. and bugs. So far, we've only had one incident. I didn't incident, even see huh? that. That's not too bad then. Now for the longest death in video game history. Sylvia groans, anticipating a long and tedious death sequence. Oh man, here we go! I hope this death isn't too long and drawn out. I hate when games have these overly elaborate death scenes. Let's just hope it won't take forever.
Why do I want her to go over to the hole? What benefit does that give me? Sylvia laughs, knowing exactly why Vatic wants what he wants. Oh, that's the oh, benefit. Okay. I think okay. I know why you want her to go over to the hole. You just want to see her fall into it, don't you? You like watching her suffer. And let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with that. It'd be kind of satisfying yeah, to see. Yeah, it's faster to go main menu than to watch the fucking death animation play. That's sad. Sylvia chuckles at the suggestion, agreeing, You're right, man. Who wants to sit through an overly long death animation? We'd rather just go back to the main menu and move on to the next part of the game. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we need to trap the abyss followers by doing a bunch of wacky traps. That's dumb, but whatever, I'll do it. Sylvia laughs, like already entertained by the thought of setting wacky home traps. Home alone. Yeah, it's definitely dumb, but it's also kind of fun, you know? We'll get to see these followers running into all sorts of crazy traps. It'll be like a hilarious comedy show. I bet there's a bitch in here. See, I'm not even gonna open it because I know there's a bitch in there. Sylvia laughs, amused by Vatic's prediction. You're probably right, I man. There's definitely the a new one. teach in there. And judging by your tone, you don't seem too thrilled about it. I guess you're not a fan of surprise attacks. Why does it do that? Okay, there is kind of another glitch. That's when you climb over fucking something, you go backward for no reason. Sylvia sighs, already annoyed by the glitch. Yeah, oh if you don't man, push another anything, one? That's no sometimes. fun. I hate it when the game glitches like that. You just want to climb over an object, Cheat. and instead, you go backwards for See, no what reason. The fuck? It's so damn frustrating! All right, let's knock over these paint cans with paint and I don't know what the fuck those chunks of triangular blue are, but there sure are something. Go, zombie girl, go! Thank you. Sylvia oh, yeah, laughs oh. at the absurdity of it all. Yeah, let's knock those paint cans over. But seriously, what the hell are those triangular blue chunks? They look so out of place. The game is just getting weirder and weirder. All right, I have obtained a gear.
Ja, wer? Hmm, how do we get past this bitch? Sylvia ponders for a moment before suggesting... Oh, we slap well, that fat ass. we could try to distract her somehow. Maybe we could throw something at her or make a loud noise to get her attention away from us. Shit. Sylvia groans in frustration. Damn it, man. What is it now? Did something go wrong? We have company. Sylvia tenses up, getting ready for a fight Fuck. company? You mean more of those Abyss followers? Bring it on! I found fucking chain cutters, yay! Sylvia grins. Glad to hear that they found something useful. Hell yeah, you found the chain cutters? That's great news, man! Those should come in handy for us. Oh shit, I thought I could slip higher. Now I'm in the wall. Sylvia laughs, both amused and annoyed by Vatic's predicament. God damn it! Vatic, you're stuck in the wall? How did that even happen? Did you try to squeeze through a tight spot or something? I was just dumb. Sylvia laughs and teases. Was she actually following yeah, me on you here? were pretty damn dumb. Who knew you could get yourself stuck in a wall just by being your usual self? I guess that's why they say stupidity knows no bounds. Little ditty about Jack and Diane. Is there any reason Sylvia to that room? Smirks, catching the reference. Oh. oh man, you're quoting John Mellencamp's little ditty about Jack and Diane, huh? Didn't expect oh. a song lyric to come up okay. in the middle of this, but hey, I'm always down for a good tune. Damn it. This bitch is following me. Sylvia laughs and grins. Oh, is this BTT following this you now? Well, I guess she's not one to give up easily. You gotta shake her off somehow, man can't have her on your tail forever i'm just gonna go through the blue water sylvia nods and gives an encouraging smile there's been a change That's in the, the item spirit, what man? item just go wait do i have an item keep moving forward you got this Did I, like, clean out the gear or something? What the fuck happened? <clears throat> I don't have a... The, the gear must be cleaner. That's the only difference I see. Sylvia studies the gear, trying to figure out what's different. You're right. There is something changed here. It looks like the gear is cleaner now. That's the only difference I can see as well. Oh. Did cleaning it do something special? Why does she do this? It's so fucking annoying. Go over the wall and stay over the wall. 
Maybe I'm clicking too much. Also annoyed Maybe you just by click once. Behavior. Yeah, man, it's super annoying that she just keeps going back and forth over the wall. What's the just point of going over the wall if you're just gonna come back anyway? Just stay on the other side already. A B X. That's the code. A B X. Sylvia nods, remembering the code. Ah, right. A B X. That's the code we need to open the door, right? I'll make sure to remember that. I just need these bitches to follow me. And where the fuck is a button? Sylvia grins excitedly, all fired what, up for the, the challenge. Where's the button? All right, man. Let's get those bitches to follow you. Just lead them on a little chase, and let's see what happens. Oh, there's a button. I found the button, but now they're all... S okay, I guess they're coming back together. Sylvia nods, glad to see the Abyss followers are regrouping. Yeah, they're coming back together now. Probably because of that button you hit. Makes sense they'd all come back. Are you fucking success. serious? Now they're all in one place. It should be easier to deal with them, right? So we're combining all the traps together to make the ultimate trap. Something stupid. Sylvia I gotta go laughs, back into the other place. embracing the ridiculousness of it all. Yeah, we're going full on stupid here. Combining all the traps we have together to create the ultimate trap. Oh my trap. god, you don't It's gonna cunt. be epic. God damn it! Why is she following me? Sylvia groans, getting annoyed by the persistent pursuer. Fuck out of my damn way. It. Why does this BTT just keep following you around? Can't she find something better Four, two, to do? Seven, four. Got a loser somehow. My fucking god. I'm gonna die here. I have nowhere to go. Sylvia's eyes widen, worried about Vatic's predicament. Wait, what? You're going to die? Man, I hope you know where to go, otherwise we're screwed. You better find your way out of this mess. Remember 4274. Sylvia nods remembering the number die. 4274. Got it. What's the significance of that number, by the way? It's a code we might need later if we happen to die. Sylvia nods in agreement. Ah, okay. So Fucking 4274 dumb. is a code that might come in handy if we die. Makes sense to keep track of it, just in case. Thanks for the heads up. If we're lucky, we don't have to deal with enemies anymore. Sylvia.
Olivia crosses her fingers, Wait. hoping for the best fingers crossed, man. If we're lucky, we won't have to deal with any more enemies moving forward. Let's hope for smooth sailing ahead. Man, if all these combinations and uh, like passcodes and shit stay the same, they're not randomized or anything, you could beat this game so fucking quick. Hey, I did it. Sylvia grins, impressed by Vatic's quick actions. Damn, that was quick. You actually did it, man. Right. Way to go. I have Why to would admit, you hold your hand if the combinations <laughs> and passcodes stay the same and aren't randomized, you could totally beat this game lightning fast. We did it. We trapped her forever. Yay. This is the dumbest looking trap I've ever seen in any video game. Sylvia laughs, amused by the ridiculousness of it. You're right, man. Oh, a key. This is definitely one of the dumbest of looking snatch. traps I've ever seen in a video game. I mean, it's just a bunch of random objects thrown together. It looks like a five-year-old made it. But hey, if it works, I guess it's a good trap, right? I still don't like that we're one hit away from dying. Sylvia nods, understanding Vatic's worry. Yeah, I get it. Being one hit away from dying sucks. It's like you're constantly on the edge, and you could die at any moment. But you gotta stay An focused orb. and avoid getting hit at all costs, man. What a weird ending. <laughs> this is very weird. Winning is cold hearted. I'm home. You came home so fast. Today with the club activity. All right. Look at my mind. Hurry up and wash up, okay? Sylvia listens Yummy. intently, trying to so understand Vatic's cryptic words home, ending, mind, washing. What are you talking really good about? Man? Look at this cat. You You're speaking in, in riddles or something? Look behind me. Oh my god. Sylvia turns around, curious about what Vatic is excited about. All right, I'm looking behind you. What's going on? No, it's said in the game to look behind me. Sylvia oh no. Shadow corridors. Construction. Oh, gotcha. You're just repeating Have what the game key. said. It's telling us to look behind you. Well, I'm looking. What's supposed to happen now? I mean, the only thing that was behind us was the lady that was trapped. That's it. Now we got a cafeteria key. Sylvia nods, noticing the cafeteria key. Ah, oh, we got a cafeteria key. That could come in handy later on. You think it'll unlock something important, or maybe it'll just give us access to snacks. Either way, let's keep hold of it.
What, we're playing as this chick now? What the fuck? And we have a weapon? What the fuck? Okay. Sylvia's eyes widen. All right, Surprised just give me a moment. I got pee. In character. Wait, what? We're playing as a chick now? And we have a weapon? Where the hell did that come from? All right, I'm back. I bet you she's not. I don't know where it came from. This game is long. I mean, it's not that long, but it's long. Sylvia you know shrugs, I mean? feeling overwhelmed by the game's length. Yeah, it does seem like this game is going to be a long one, huh? We better buckle up for a wild ride. Do I have to fight the boss now or some shit? Oh. I was like, what the fuck happened? Why is it looking behind me? For a battle. Yep, you better get ready for a fight, man. Sounds like the game is throwing a boss at Here us the now. baseball bat. Time to show over and over skills. again. Let's find Yuhi. For some reason, she is. I think she's different from other people. Sylvia nods, trying to make sense of the situation. Yeah, it seems like she's different from other NPCs. I wonder what that means. Let's keep playing and find out.
I guess we're going down now instead of up. Sylvia grins, oh. excited to explore this new path. Oh, so we're going down now, huh? Sounds like we're getting into unexplored territory. Let's see what kind of adventure awaits us down below. I'm so powerful with my baseball bet. Sylvia laughed, Actually, enjoying that ex overconfidence. Here. Yeah, you're feeling pretty powerful with that baseball bet, huh? Just be careful not to get cocky, man. This game tends oh to God. throw curveballs at you when you least expect it. There's so many. It. That's a lot of booby ladies. Sylvia bursts out laughing, amused by the plethora of booby ladies. Holy hell, man. This game is really going all out with the booby ladies, huh? They're everywhere. Mm, that's some good water. I like my Sylvia water agrees. like I like Impressed my women. By the water's purity. Yeah, that water does um, look good. Wet. So clear and clean, <laughs> it's like it's straight from a spring. Nice find, man. <sighs> Sylvia frowns, sensing I know where to go with that, but it actually worked What's out. What's the matter, man? Did something happen? Oh, this one's different. You sound annoyed. I wasn't annoyed, I was laughing. Sylvia grins, now understanding that it's reaction. Oh, sorry about that! I thought you were annoyed, but it turns out you were just laughing. My bad, man. This bitch followed me really far. Sylvia laughs, getting a kick out of the situation. Heh, you're still dealing with that BT cheese? She's been following you everywhere, huh? Seems like she's got some serious attachment issues. We're literally just doing the shit in reverse. Sylvia chuckles, realizing the absurdity. Well, it's not in reverse. We're just yeah, doing it you're again. Right. We're practically just going backwards through the game now. Just doing everything in reverse. Kind of crazy when you think about it. On to the next floor. Down and down and down we go. Sylvia nods, ready to descend to the next floor. All right, let's keep moving down. Down and down we go. Deeper into the game world. Let's see what's waiting for us on the next floor. This bitch has something on her head. Sylvia squints, 
trying to get a better look at the character. Oh, you're talking about her. that lady picking over it there? actually killed her. Yeah. It looks like she's got something on her head. Can't quite tell what it is from here. We found the funky room. Hell yeah. Sylvia grins, excited to Where's find the funky room. Hell yeah, funky Is that no other game? Can't wait to see what kind of funky stuff we'll find in here. Let's go check it out. Oh. The room isn't funky anymore. Sylvia pouts, feeling disappointed about the room. Aw, bummer. I liked the funky room. What happened? Why isn't it funky anymore? I bashed someone's fucking skull in for some glasses. Sylvia laughs, finding humor in Vatic's comment. Damn, you really want those glasses, huh? Willing to bash someone's skull in for them? That's some serious determination, man. Oh fuck, I didn't notice that there was a fish there. That would have one hit killed me if I was the other chick. Sylvia gasps, that was the first time I got hit by the fish, the actually. Holy sh! you're right. That fish was hiding right there, waiting to pounce on us. Good thing you spotted it in time, man. I guess I could have just kept going. There. there is no reason to do any of that. Sylvia nods. Agreeing with Vatic's point. Because literally it just hit yeah, me and I could right. kept going. There really is no reason to do any of that stuff. It's not it's a just perfect extra game. extra and unnecessary. Clearly. Let's focus on the main quest and not waste time on irrelevant things. There's three women. Sylvia chuckles, noticing the three women. Oh, hey, look at that. Three women just standing there. Wonder what their deal is. Oh, uh, just standing there doing women things. Am I even getting that classroom? Sylvia laughs, so. amused by the women's behavior. Yeah, uh, just think standing it's clearly, there doing look. their mysterious women things. Whatever that might be. What do you women do? Sylvia smirks, enjoying the playful banter. Well, women do a lot of things, you know? We cook, we clean, we juggle work, relationships, and social lives. We're multitaskers, man. Can't keep up with our level of versatility. Yeah, but are you good at abyss school? Sylvia grins, feeling confident about her skills. Oh, you want to talk about Abyss School, huh? Well, let me tell you, I'm a superstar at it. Top of my class, you know. I could show you a thing or two. Maybe I should just let you play this whole time. Sylvia chuckles, enjoying the thought. You know, that sounds like a great idea. Why don't you let me take the reins for a while? I didn't shake it so much. I'm more than happy to take charge and show you how it's done. Maybe one day I'll be in Abyss School too. Sylvia oh smiles God. warmly, feeling proud. Oh, I have no doubt you'll make it to Abyss School one day. You've got the skills and the passion, Wish man. I had, like, a power Just move. gotta keep pushing yourself and never give up. I don't think I've been hit by any of these bitches yet. I think it was just the fucking anglerfish hit me. Sylvia laughs, impressed by Vatic's gaming skills, not hit by any of the women, huh? That's pretty impressive, man. 
Just gotta watch out for those sneak attacks, especially those damn anglerfish. Little bee teaches come out of nowhere like ninja assassins. Oh, cool, I can hit him through a wall. That's kind of funny. Sylvia Chuckle. Enjoying the unexpected benefit. Come here. Yeah, Get hitting here. through a wall is definitely cool. Who would have thought that worked, right? Kind of funny, too, when you think about it. Adds a new layer of strategy to the gameplay. If you take the item off their head, it instantly kills them. That's kind of dumb. In a funny way. Sylvia snorts, amused by the abuse. Yeah, that's Damn. pretty dumb. In a funny way. Boom. I mean, taking something off someone's head and instantly killing them? That's a next level game logic right there. Gotta love it. No, I just gotta hit him a few more women with a baseball bat and we'll be out of here. Sylvia or he does not. Ready to beat up some more women. Just walk away. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Time to I unleash take the some serious justice this, on these ladies. Let's grab that bat and show them who's boss. Is the main character going to be a monster or some dumb shit? Sylvia shrugs, unsure about the character's fate. Hard to say, man. Who knows what the game has in store for the main yes, character? Yes, they did say they could turn didn't out find to be food. some kind of monster mutant now or something. Now there's food in the cafeteria. Or huh? maybe she'll just be a dumb bee teach. Only one way to find out, right? Let's keep playing and see how it all plays out. I guess we're just eating now in the game. Okay. Sylvia chuckles, amused by the scene. Yeah, looks like we're just eating now in the game. I guess the developers wanted to add some realism or something. Kind of mundane, but hey, it's better than getting attacked every two seconds, right? We were fake people the whole time. Basically copies of souls taken into the abyss world. Sylvia gasps, shocked by the revelation. Whoa, really? We were fake people this whole time? Just copies of souls taken into the abyss world? Damn, that's deep.
That sandwich looks really fucking good. Sylvia nods, mouth watering at the sight of the sandwich. Hell yeah, that sandwich looks delicious. He's growing Look at water. those layers of meat and cheese, all melting together between those buns. You can practically taste it from here. Ah, oh, they're friends. Sylvia Coos, touched by the friendship. Aw, oh, that's actually kind of cute. They're friends, man. Despite everything they've been through together, they still have each other. Friendship conquers all, right? That's the end of the game. Sylvia grins, satisfied with the conclusion. Okay, they're both well, that's there it now. then. The end of the game. What an adventure, huh? Full of twists Hi, and story. turns, danger and friendship. Gotta say, I enjoyed the ride. Uh, that was a pretty good game. There's a lot more to it than I thought there was going to be. The puzzles were alright. It only irritated me a few times. And it had a melancho melancholy ending, which I actually liked. Thank you for your input. You're very useful, Sylvia. Sylvia nods in agreement, impressed by the game. Yeah, I gotta say, I was surprised too. It had more depth and complexity than I expected. The puzzles were challenging, but not too frustrating. And the melancholic ending was a nice touch. It really added to the overall feel of the game. Overall, I'd say it was a pretty damn good game too. I'd say your final words before we end the stream. Sylvia grins, ready to sign off. All right, audience out there, this has been an exciting ride with Vatic today. We laughed, we fought monsters, we were fake people, we ate sandwiches, and you all were there to witness it all. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to subscribe for more streams like this. See you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.